Uh, uh, lawyer Maka. Yes. Uh, very important. Uh, very important. Uh, what is it? Uh, there is a question I would like to ask you. Sorry for disturbing you. Uh, Auntie Amaka, you are a fine girl. Hmm? You are beautiful. In fact, you are educated. You have a good job. Why are you married? What kind of question is this? Uh, because, uh, in fact, uh, all your age mates are all married. Uh, look at that useless, good-for-nothing girl, Bisola, that lives at the back. It's wedding next Saturday. Eh? One unfortunate boy, Maria. Uh, you see why I'm so uh, concerned about you? If that useless girl eh, can marry, uh, what is holding you? If there is nothing you can do about it, I can take you to one baba. He will wash your face two times a day, seven days in a week. Hmm? He will do it. In fact, eh, by the time he is done with you, you will see men with dollars and pounds, naira and kobo. Look at how they be walking, crawling, follow you. Amaka, will you marry me? Amaka, will you marry me? Amaka, will you marry me? Mr. Columbus. Why are you not dead? Eh? Dead? Why are you still alive? Lawyer Amaka, how can you ask me such question? Yes, I will ask you that question because men your age, even the ones that are younger, have died. Those that have been so useful to their families died. You remember that young man by the corner? The one that died last week? He was younger than you are. Very useful to his family. Yet he died. And you're still here. Why are you not dead? Lawyer Amaka, you don't wish me well at all. How can I die? Who will train my children? I see. Next time, learn to mind your business. Okay? Out of my sight. Out! Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Now advise you. Don't be by force. Eh? Come on, advice. You say make I die. Hey. Columbus, you don't suffer. If nobody is my plane, we crash. What do you have to find for this compound? Don't worry. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. It's beautiful. You can say that again. Wow. I, I love the stones. Exactly. I took my time to select this one. Hand stone though. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is lovely. Thank you. You know, <sighs> weddings are beautiful moments in a woman's life. Especially when it is with the right man. <laughs> of course. Not with some riffraff like that. <laughs> yeah, look at this one. You know what this is, right? Mm hmm Yay. Wow. Hey, hey. <laughs> She'll be so happy. She'll be so happy. Yes. Yeah. Me, I cannot spend all the years I spent in school, law school, um, call to bar and everything to mm -hmm. end up with one riffraff. I cannot. God forbid. God forbid. Oh. Mm. This is nice. Hello? Yeah, Chich, how are you? No, 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 no. I can't. I'm sorry. I have a workshop today. I'm very busy, extremely busy. You have to come and pick it up. Uh-huh. Yes. You have to come. This is a very busy period for me. I have workshops. I have training. I have seminars going. No, I can't. 
You have to come and pick it by yourself. Yes. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Look at this girl. She wants me to do everything for her. She cannot come and pick her wedding gown. Is that how lazy someone can get? She's lucky to have you do things for she's, her. She's been like that all her life. She graduated this April, met this man, and they're getting married next week. <gasps> Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. That's divine fever. Hmm. My darling, like daddy always mm. says, every woman has her own speck and time. Hmm. That's true. As for me, I want to get married to the most handsome, hmm. caring, hmm. and richest man ever. Only mm. you. Mm -hmm. It's okay, I'll take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you're there for my cousin's wedding. Of course I will. That is, if my tailor doesn't disappoint me. You see these tailors? They will not make heaven. I swear. You know the ones I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The ones that are supposed to give you like this, uh, like this, our glass, like this, uh, but they will give you like this. <laughs> <laughs> How? How would they make him? How? Oh God, you're so funny. <laughs> Please let me start this. Oh, but this is me. lovely. Thank I you. love it. Thank you. Thank you. So, so let me put the back in the bag exactly. and not soil it for her. Mm -hmm. such in a hurry i told you we have workshop at workplace and i'm the one in charge oh mm -hmm. as usual <laughs> anyway it. just take care of yourself okay you know these private companies they have a way of draining one's entire life so you have to take it easy on yourself thank you i will but look on the bright side very soon yours truly will be the gm of the company hmm. <laughs> so i say congratulations in advance Thank you. As for me, I love my marketing job mm. because I can do it from home and with my phone. Lucky you. <laughs> All right, you can, please help me tell the housekeeper to pump water. I barely had a bath this morning. You know I don't talk to that man. You have to try. See you later. Thank you. Bye. All right, bye. Good morning. Hello, Amaka. <laughs> Good morning. Why didn't you pump water? I barely had the bath. Uh, but it's not my fault, Lawyer Amaka. How is it not your fault? You people use water too much. How can one person use three buckets of water to bath? Eh? Una me bami water. I mean water now, sir. They use cup. They, they do them small, small. They manage water. Columbus, I don't have your time this morning. Okay, as you can see, I'm in a hurry. It has been agreed that you pump water once in three days at least. Do what you have been told to do and stop giving flimsy excuses. This is the problem I have with you people that refuse to marry. Eh? You don't what have did you to... just say? I said I will pump the water after brushing my teeth. Eh? I, I just woke up. Do you think I didn't hear you right? Or you think I'm stupid? Let this be the last time you will make such a statement around me. Do you hear me? You said you were in a hurry. How is that your business? How... Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on my way, sir. Okay. All right. Yeah. I can see you don't like your job anymore. Uh, uh, Madam Nube, sorry. And I joke at the joke. Not today. Nothing anybody can do to me. This is my brother's house. Eh? I was once a barista before I became a pilot. Not because my, bl my, my plane, uh, I'm driving crash. That is why I'm a security here. Everybody has his own office. I wish this rain where they do, yeah, 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 go, go pit them well, well before you come here. That's your mouth, you know, go talk to me again. Don't have respect for your father's age mate. This kind of nonsense with this. Eh? Because, uh, because I, I, I be security here. This small, small children won't begin to chance me here.
Hello, sir. Very well, sir. <laughs> I know. But, sir, you did not make the orders you promised. Mm hmm. Oh, really? Of course, I, I trust you. I trust you, sir. <laughs> okay, not a problem. Till then. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you very much. Yes, you too. Bye. <laughs> Who is this one again? Hello? Who is this? Ah, oh, Mr. Ben. I'm very well. Mm-hmm. You want to see me? What for? It is not business, so what is it for? Yes, because you said you want to meet with me personally, so I'm asking, what for? Ah, uh, Mr. Ben, please, I've heard such stories a thousand times. Mm-hmm. He will have to pay for my taxi and all that inconveniences. It's okay. Not a problem. But that will be much later in the day. All right. Bye. Oh. What does he want to see me for? <sighs> Sweetheart. Yes. Here's the list. Four. Things that I need to buy for the house and to cook. Baby, why do you have to throw away the paper like that? Why do you keep coming at me without an explanation as to how you spent the last bulk of cash that I gave to you? I have told you next time you want money, can I see a breakdown of how you spent the monies that I have given in the past? We've had this conversation before, have we not? Account? Yes, I want an account. For how much? For one naira, for one dollar, for a cent, for one cobble. It's money, Patricia. All right? I didn't come this far by being a frivolous spender. I didn't come this far by not accounting for how I spend cash that comes my way. Charles, I am your wife to be. Why do I have to explain the money that you give to me to cook, to make things for you, to buy things for the house? Why? Why do I have to do that? Come my on. Dear wife, I have just told you. That I am an accountant and it should reflect in the way that I live my life. You met me this way. This is who I am. If I give you money, I want you to account for it before you ask me for another bulk of cash. That is how it works. Now I ask you, my dear wife-to-be, is that too much to ask? Okay, so what do I do now? Simple. Account for past expenditure and get another bulk of cash. It's simple. It's called accountability. Okay. What do you know? It's not your fault. You don't work. You don't do nothing. You just got off NYSE. So you don't know how hard it is to make money. You go get a job. 
and see how difficult it is and see if you spend your own cash without accounting for it. I think I came this far by throwing money away. Okay. Well, like I said before, I'm an engineer, a civil engineer. I build properties and sell. And also by the grace of God, I'm not really doing bad. <laughs> you already know what I do. Yeah, that, of course. You see, I just want us to get to know each other better. I want to build something serious with you. I mean a serious relationship. Um, listen, Mr. Ben. I have heard these kind of stories a thousand and one times. Hmm? And at the end of the day, it all boils down to one thing. Please, say what you want to say. And I will give you my response. I don't have time for all these your roundabout talks. But Joyce, you know you're you're quite a pretty lady. And I'm very certain you also have a very wonderful personality. I also know, due to your kind of job, you definitely might be having a lot of people, men especially, who disturb you. But I'm just asking for a chance to prove to you that I'm not like them. I'm someone different. So what do you want me to do? At least, um, I don't think it would be really nice saying anything further. Let's get somewhere quiet so we can get to know ourselves better. What do you think? I think it is too early to start jumping around town with you. Come on, Joy. Besides, it is getting late. Come on, Joy. I mean, who is talking about jumping around town? I'm just talking about us going to somewhere serene where we can actually have dinner. Rainbow fast foods. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. But please, let's make it snappy.
Hello, sweetheart. Where were you yesterday? At this time? At exactly this time? Where was I? Baby, what is the matter? Patricia, I'm sure you're not suffering from amnesia. I asked a question and I want answers. Who were you with at this time yesterday and where were you? Charles, this your idea of always suspecting every move I make is actually getting on me. Yes. Baby, in this relationship, you really, really have to trust me. Trust you? How to trust you? How? How do I get to begin to trust you when you gallivant around town with every man that you can find, kissing and hugging them? You talk about trust with me, Pat. Really? Kiss? Hug? Who? Tonight, Pat. That yesterday, and about this time, that you were not with some man, I like this one, kissing and hunting him, following him to his car, and he took you to God knows where, to do God knows what, and you stand here and talk to me about trust. How? Charles, are you actually monitoring me? I have a job. You hear me? I wasn't following you around. I have a job, but someone saw you. When you are in a relationship with someone, you give account. For where you go, who you mingle with, because you never know just who is watching. But I will show you something right now. Someone saw you and did a video of you kissing and hugging some guy. You can lie to me, but this would not lie. Go ahead. Without lie to. Yeah, that's it. Who was that man? You were hugging him. You followed him to his car. Why did he take you? What did you do to him? Just stop! No, you stop! This is Mike. Who's Mike? My cousin. The guy that saw me through school. Oh, oh. And I am sure to have actually mentioned him to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, a couple, couple of times, yeah. So, tell me. Who else did your informant tell you that I was with yesterday? Speak. Who? All right, calm down. No, 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 no. Who? Tell me who. Sweetheart, communication now. All right? I mean, look at it. You should have just told me that your cousin was in town. Yeah, you constantly talked about him, but you didn't tell me. All right? You, 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 don't, you don't tell me what you do sometimes. I and mean, you, know, you know how jealous and protective I can get sometimes. You know I love you. Huh? I love you with all my heart. You don't blame me when I get this way. I mean, you didn't tell me your cousin was in town. I mean, I would have invited him to the house and we'll have a big dinner or something. Babe, I'm sorry, okay? I, I'm sorry I came out this way. It's because I love you. All right, please, please, please. Next time, let's talk so we, you know, we avoid mix, mix, mix up like this. Don't touch me. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Baby, I'm sorry. Huh? I love you. You're my woman. I mean, look at you. Uh, what man won't get jealous? Uh, baby, please, forgive me. Uh, mm, please, forgive me. Let's not fight. Uh, I was just jealous. Uh, but some, some spineless nigga was trying to take my woman from me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Welcome, it, it's, good to, it's good to have you. Mm, I was, was actually bored without you. Welcome back. Uh, I'm happy. Huh? I'm sorry, baby. Huh? Let it go. But I was just um, trying to finish up a few um, a few things for a client. Uh, you know, I was actually waiting on you to return so that um, we can, you know, have something in the house to eat. You know, I'm thinking today that we should um, do something totally different, you know. Maybe you um, make us some lovely African cuisine. Uh, like oh four, I got a, uh, with a lot of spice and good meat. Uh, you know I'm a traditional man. Uh. <laughs> I'm a, like I can nigga. Uh, uh, fine girl. Uh, look at her. Look at her. Uh, you got me all jealous and shit. <laughs> uh, I'll come join you later, baby.
You're welcome once again. Thank you. That reminds me. All right. Happy birthday in advance. Oh, Ben. All this for me? Oh, how so thoughtful of you. This is so beautiful and colorful. Well, I'm happy you like them. Of course I do. <laughs> yeah, one more thing. I think, um... Please add this to your birthday preparations. It's just a token. <laughs> Come on. You call this a token? This is more than enough. It's all right, my dear. Thank you, thank you so much. Like, I wasn't even expecting any of this. <laughs> it's all right, you're welcome. This is indeed a surprise. And I hope you will invite me to the party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He will be the guest of honor, I promise you that. <laughs> This is too much. This is indeed a surprise. Thank you so much. Oh, please pardon my manners. What would you really love to eat or drink? Well, it's okay. I think I'm full. You Very full. You don't want anything. I'm Just... okay. I'm okay. All right, then. All right, my dear. Let me take my leave. All right. I'm right behind you. Let me see you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, you can't split the Yes. <laughs> Don't cry. Mm -hmm. I love you. I'm done. Oh, okay, that was fast. Yeah, I put a uh, much of the food in the freezer for you. Okay, I get it. But what's what's with the bag? Where are you going? House. What? I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. What do you mean? Huh? What have I done? Huh? Charles, you don't have a lot of respect for me. Ever since we started this relationship, it's been one accusation or the other. You have the impression that I'm a flecked, like I'm a fool or some girl who can be easily taken to bed by any man at any time. I was just being jealous, baby. When you love someone, you get jealous. You can't hold your feelings back. Look at you, my love. I, I love you. I know I overreact sometimes. I, I know I get too protective, but it's because I, I love you. Charles, that is not love. It's not. I'm sorry. First, you bugged my phone. You listened to my conversations. You follow me everywhere. You even have to send people to, to, to take videos of me. But, but, but babe, we, we, we just talked about that one now and I apologize that you accepted. Why, why, are you, why are you here holding your bag? Look. I'm uh, sorry. Don't, 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 please, please. Look, we can walk through this, all right? It's a relationship. It, it, it comes with its hurdles. We, we, we'll get through this one. All right, I promise you. We'll, we'll, please. please. Just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't continue with this. I'm sorry. You're not serious with this, are you? You're, 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 you're taking off the ring I got you? I'm sorry. Babe, hey, please, please, don't leave. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, please. Please. I'm sorry, Charles. But it's over. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Pat? 
But are you are you living for for real? Huh? Just like Tangerino, when you taste it, do we feel the fat inside? Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I'm up on the OG, I'm on the Hello, Bob. We need to see him. Yes. It has happened again. Mm. All of these mm -hmm. and that cash with good manners too. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't behave like all those um, local men. Those are men. This is good, though. This looks so. What did you say? He did not propose. Mm. I figured he just likes me. Mm. <laughs> and you like him too. I beg you. We've seen too many like him before. I know. I can see it in your eyes. See what's in my eyes? There's a spark. <laughs> Look at it. It's the spark of love. See, you're even blushing. Shame. Are you serious? Please, I'm not blushing. Mm. What are you doing? Hey, okay, let me show you this one. This is actually my favorite. Charlie, this is your third separation this year alone. The first girl was too demanding according to you. The second one, like a street girl according to you. And now this. Oh, anyway, this one actually sacked you. So, what exactly do you want? Make up your mind, man. Make up your mind. Bob, mm -hmm? do you not see what is happening? Do you not, have you not looked around and see what's going on? You know? Times are changing. Times are, times are funny. You know, with marriages these days, you have high failure rates when it comes to marriage. I'm trying to be careful. All right? I'm trying to be careful. Some of my friends have gone ahead to jump into this thing and now they're out. They've come back here to meet me in the single market. Listen, if I have waited this long, all right, I might as well get it right. Oh, yeah? I don't want what you people like to call, uh, what is it called again? Avoidable, Avoidable liability. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants Charlie, Charlie. a liability? Oh, yeah? I, I don't want that. Oh, yeah? it, how is it even possible that I go to the land of the birds to hunt, then I come back with a ribbon? Hmm. I like that. Do you know how long I've been experienced as a bachelor? Are you? <laughs> oh, you so now. I'm taking my time. You now want to compete with me, huh? No, listen, I'm not with you. Listen, listen. No, 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 no. I, I have to say oh, I'm taking oh, okay, my okay, time okay, 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 okay. to meet a woman who understands oh, fine. the true essence of marriage. Oh, I'm yeah? I'm not saying that I want to remain a perpetual bachelor like you. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Okay, you took it off me. Now, now, listen. This whole issue of going to the land of birds and uh, getting raven or whatever. Yes. Sounds beautiful. But that's for you who want to marry. For me, marriage is a no-go area. Oh yes, oh yes. A real man needs space. Yes. What, what are you talking about? You need your space to do your business. No. To make money. I know. And above all, live freely I like I am doing now. I don't agree with you. Even the Bible tells you that he who finds a wife finds a good place. It says a good wife for. Oh, well, that's why I'm taking so, my So, time. how many? Okay, but that, if that's your standpoint, then yeah. what about children? Of course, I have children. Yes, I do. You have children? Yes, I have two kids. <laughs> but from two different women. Bob, you have... Not from marriage. You, you have two kids. Yes. Not from marriage. Yes. But from two different women. Yes, I'm fine with that. Bob, and that's, that's a trick to be emulated? For me, it's, it's cool, man. Everybody's free. I mean, How do yourself. How do you contribute to this, the lives of these children? How do you contribute? I provide what is required. Everything. Really? I've got the resources, yes. Really? But they stay with their mothers. It is beyond provision, Paul. What about your impute as a father? <laughs> yes. Impute? Yes. Indeed, indeed. What impute, for God's sake? As a man, what, what impute is that? 
You have impudence. Listen, 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 listen. Never, you have a role to play in the upbringing of, ne, the children, of these children. Le, le, listen, Charlie. Le, listen, Charlie. Never you try to compete with a woman over the love of children. Because they keep these children at their apron springs and they use it to blackmail you. Bob, you don't get what I'm saying. And what are you saying? What I'm saying is, yeah. when are you present in yeah. the lives of these kids? Warm up to you, bond with you, get to love, respect and recognize you as their father, as the first role model they have in this world and look up to you. Good question. Good question. Good when question. Would that happen? Good question. I'll give you the answer. Because you have your time to do business, because you have your time to make money, a rich man is recognized. Your children will strive to, 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 to connect with you anytime, any day. When they hear your name, they quote your name anytime, any day. Hey, I am Bob's son. I am the daughter of Bob. You know him? You know him? That's my father. Bob, if... And when they grow up, man, they come back to you. They look for their fathers. Bob, if... Traditionally, when children grow up, they look for their fathers. And that's my standpoint. Let me tell you something. Tell God me. Protect... God, Paul, let me tell you something. God mm. protect heaven and earth. He did. Okay, and everything beautiful. Yes, yeah, including me. Including you. Yes. Including you. And the beautiful and women out there. Thank you. Who must stay and on their own. It is not beyond God to make these children grow from trees. God decided to pass these kids through us so that we can guide them. Not just guide them, but guide them aright. So if you are not present in the lives of your children, how will these kids live a life that would make you proud as a parent. What if, what, if, what if they begin to pick up traits from people around them, like 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 domestic workers in the house, like your friends, that people that stop by to keep your your baby mama company, and all those nasty traits? How would you feel, baby mama company? Let me ask you: Did you see anywhere in the Bible where a man was breastfeeding a child? I'm not talking about. No, no did you see that anywhere in the Bible? Ha! Look, it's useless having this conversation with you. It is what? It is Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to what? Irredeemable ball. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you never have bought your mind. No, 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 no. I'm on the right track. I'm on the right track. How are you on the right track? Bob, you are 56 years old and you have refused to get me. And I don't want to be like you. <laughs> You're getting closer, man. You're getting closer, I, I tell you. You're getting closer. Nah, you don't suck the girl. <laughs> you don't suck one guy yesterday. And you're talking, come, come, come back here. Come back here, you fool. This is good, you're tight. <laughs> this is great. You see, um, the power of Titan is the power of multiplication. <laughs> the more you give, the more you receive in multiples. A lot of people who do not understand this very simple principle, a spiritual principle, they wallow in poverty all their life. But somehow, you understood it and you are performing it. Just like what the Bible confirms in Malachi 3.10. It says, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And watch if I, the Lord, would not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing unto you, that you may not have room enough to contain. <laughs> Daddy, God has been so faithful. Amen. Of course, I give thanks to God for your life. Considering where you're coming from and where you are now, God has been indeed faithful. Daddy, I give God all the glory. Amen. And of course, with my prayers, you have no other choice but to go higher and higher. Amen. 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 Daddy. There is something else I will want to discuss with you. Okay, well, go ahead. I... A man is in love with me. As a matter of fact, he's proposed to me and I said yes. But I told him I would love to seek the face of God first concerning his proposal. That's good news. Sister Joy, um, this man in question, do you love him too? <laughs> yes, Daddy. I love him a lot. Besides, he's been wonderful. 
He's a nice man. Mm, love is a beautiful thing, but God is the ultimate. I know. Good. So this man, is he born again? I mean, what church does he attend? Um, Daddy, in all honesty, I, I haven't discussed that with him. That's bad. Really bad. As a child of God, that should be the first thing you must determine. Whoever comes to you must know their spiritual status. Must. Um, I promise you, Daddy, once I leave here, I will do that right away and get back to you. Well, good enough, but I don't think you should bother yourself now. Since I know now, just uh, bring him to me, let me see him. He, he wants me to bring him here. Exactly. Or don't you think I deserve to know who wants to take away one of my flock? Uh, yes, yes, of course, yes. Okay, then um, just uh, try as much as possible to bring him. Let me see him. I'll just do the assessment myself. That's more direct. Okay, Daddy. I'll have to leave now. All right. Bless you. May the Lord go with you. Amen. <laughs> you don't want anything to... I'm fine, Daddy. Not to worry. I'll be right back. All right. God bless you. Amen. Mama, we have gone through this over and over and over again. And what has changed? Tell me, what has changed? I will get married when the time comes. When will the time be? Hmm? When will the time be? Mama, I have suffered. I'm a lawyer. I've spent time and money to take care of myself and to be the woman I am today. I cannot end up with any riffraff. Nobody is going to put me in their house to stomp over me all in the name of marriage. My pastor says that delay is not denial. That every woman... Come on, will you shut up your mouth? Okay. That your new church is part of the problem you have. Yes. I don't know what they tell you people in that church that blinds your eyes to reality of life. What is it? What we're saying has nothing to do with church. As a matter of fact, my pastor is a gifted man of God. He has God's special hand of anointing over his life. There's nothing that he has said or prophesied that has not come to pass. So, if other suitors are refreshed, according to you and your pastor, so what about your fellow lawyers? Are they not getting married? Talk to me! Lawyers rarely marry themselves. If we Oh, yeah, I'm no good. Oh, yeah, I'm not good. That's what I have been telling you. Eh? Argument upon argument. That is it. How can they stay together when no one, no one is ready to listen to the other? Tell me. Mama, you're just talking as if lawyers... It's not, it's not like that. Lawyers don't just do things blindly. They're learned people. They don't take things based on face value. They have to do proper interrogation. We are saying the same thing. Interrogation. Interrogation. We are saying the same thing. How can you live peacefully with your partner when you question whatever thing he does? Mama, you're talking as if lawyers do not have peaceful marriages. They do. As a matter of fact, the knowledge of the law keeps them in check. Nobody wants to contravene the law. Mm. Uh, let me go and sleep. Because I can see that my mission here has failed. Good night. I'm a
me pass where they go. Wait till be that one. But no complete. You say wait Because I don't give you slap. Idiot. You won't carry me pass where they go. Useless man. Yes. Hello. Hello. Who's this? It's me, Linda. Hey, 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 hold on a second. Where did you get my number from? Uh-uh. Oga, I was with you last night. Yes, how did you get my number? Uh-uh. Oga, leave that side. Okay, what do you... What do you want? You didn't even call to know how I'm doing, Oga. It's not fair. Uh, listen, hear me and hear me now. Don't call my phone again. Do you hear me? Anyways, that's not why I called you. When I was going home, some men attacked me. They took all the money you gave to me. The whole money. They didn't leave anything with me. Do not call this number again. I have nothing to do with you. I have no ties with you. Stop calling me. Don't, don't try it. Ah, uh, hello? 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 This man is Chris. Who is me, please? Teach me lesson. Shit. Um, Mama, who did this house? This old woman said. Mama, who did this house? Say a very big thank you for saving me the stress of getting a taxi and you know all of that. Well, you know, if not for the abuse in the job, my work, mm -hmm. now I wouldn't mind taking you to work and back every day. Really? Yeah, of course. <laughs> mm. <laughs> right, uh, that reminds me. Um, how is it tomorrow going to be like? You've got any serious engagement? Mm. Not at all. Some few house chores and sleep all day. All right then. I'd like you to accompany me somewhere. Where? You know, there's this um, project I'm overseeing at Aja. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to join me. I don't know anything about constructions. And, and I know. You know, your presence alone can be a good source of inspiration. Hmm. All right, that's fine, but on one condition. And what would that be? That we will both see a movie together at the cinema. There is this blockbuster Nollywood movie I want us to see. Hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. But you know I'm not a film person. Hmm. Anyway, it's okay, I can compromise for you. 
<laughs> Thank you so much, darling. You're welcome, buddy. So it's a deal then? Yes, a deal. Let me go in and fresh, you know, I am knackered. I understand. All right, see ya. Bye. I love you. I love it. <laughs> Bye, darling. Now get into the car. After you move no. to your house. Get into the car. You first. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Love you. Love you too. Just come inside my compass tomorrow night. I don't agree with you. How can you say my married with Look. See, Charlie, Ch Ch uh, Charlie, you just like to act. It is a generally known I fact. I'm telling you for sure that married women cheat more on their husbands. Bob, otherwise. you cannot discourage me from getting married. All right? I was brought up to believe that at some point in my life I have to get married. Charlie. Don't, no, don't corrupt my mind. I'm not, I'm not blackmailing you. No, no. Why well, can you tell me uh, that I shouldn't bother getting married, that married women cheat more than men? My brother, well, we know that men cheat more than women. Oh, no. No, no. But well, that's the truth. And I can prove it to you that women cheat more on their husbands than otherwise. You don't have facts. Listen, listen. listen Bob, listen, you don't have facts. Listen, Charlie. I'm not saying nobody should get married. That's not the point. But that's, that's what you're preaching indirect, indirectly. If you are a jealous guy like I am, like I am sure you are also, then there's no point killing yourself with marriage. No. All you need to do is get yourself some children and some women and move on with your life. Th these are unproven hypotheses. Bob, you don't have facts. If you have facts, you know, let me know. Prove it. But if you cannot prove it, then they remain assumptions. Bob you know? does not work on assumptions. Well, you're dwelling on assumptions. Like, how can you tell? And if you insist, I will prove it to you. Prove it to me. I will prove it to Bob, you. Bob, prove it to me. You bet me. What will you do? All right. All right, just, 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 just hold on. Just hold on. Why are you pulling out your phone? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> That's Bob, you're a drama king, honestly. What? Sure. Who are you calling? Uh, hello, uh, oh boy. Uh, how are you? Uh, no, 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 you are not fine. Uh -uh. I say you are not fine. <laughs> See, eh? If you have an idea of what's going on around me right now, you will stop being fine. You want to know, eh? You want to know what's going on? You really, 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 really want to know, eh? Okay, just hold on. Let's take it this way. You are aware that I know your wife, but she does not know me, right? Good. Now, what did I tell you that that your dear wife 
is right here before me in the same bar where I'm having a good time with my friend that she's also having a good time with uh, another man. I should repeat myself. I am saying that your wife right now is in the same bar where I'm cleaning up with my friend. That's what I said. Oh, oh. Uh, you want to come? Yeah, yeah, the new bar at Old Road, yes. Hurry, oh, hurry, hurry. She wants to run away. Uh, take a easy, don't go kill yourself because of woman. Uh, uh, take a easy, bro. Take a easy. Yeah? Hello? Yeah, Mr. Posse, it's me. How are you? Uh, okay, I'm uh, waiting for you. No, 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 no. no. It's just a little uh, uh, so I just have to, you know. <laughs> Proven beyond all reasonable doubt. What's happening here? <laughs> Magic. Magic. They were all married women. Probably with kids. They abandoned their house, their children, and they're flexing with men. All over the place. No, but, 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 all of them married. But, 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 these ladies were here. Now, 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 do I shock you? They were just sitting down there having fun. I was just, what, they were married? I was just making a funny call. I was calling nobody. What, 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 what? That was a fake phone call? I'm telling you, it was a fake call. Nobody is coming to catch anyone. But just to prove my point beyond all reasonable doubts. Get me a champagne, man. Get me a champagne. Come on, come on, come on. I'm a dude, man. Bob, how do you know these things? Be a gentleman. Get me a bottle of champagne here. How do you know these things? That's experience, man. Experience. Why are you so evil? <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sister Joy. Yes, Daddy. You told me you lost that man so much and that he's a wonderful man. <laughs> yes, Daddy. I love him. And a lot. <laughs> well, um, you are still a child spiritually and it's only normal for you to see and talk like one. I hope there is no problem. You know, after the first day you told me about the man as your spiritual leader and your pastor, I took it upon myself to fast and pray concerning this young man who you want to marry. I got some revelations. And these revelations are not good. Daddy, please, what did you see? I pray that God Almighty will give you the hearts to contain that. The man is occultic. Yes, all his money comes from the devil's cover. Not just that. He's also a gambler. Gambler. Well, not in the sense you know. He gambles with women. Just as he likes you, he likes two or three other women. The fact is that he's not even decided on you. But, but, Daddy, he. He, he swore that I'm the only woman in his life. As a matter of fact, I, when he said it, I saw sincerity in his eyes. I, I looked him in the eyes and I, I believe him. That was why I said you are still a child spiritually. Some of the things we see are beyond our physical comprehension. Yeah, they may seem right, but they're not right. I am a man of God. I see and hear from God and I deliver the message as I receive from Revelation. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18, the Bible makes us understand that the things we see will be gone. The things we don't see will remain forever. 
For the things which we see are temporal, but the things we do not see are eternal. This man is not good for you. Wow. You know our pastor sees in the spirit. Eh? I knew there was something about that, Ben. It was too good to be true. Hmm. Ben is a nice guy. Hmm. Do you know that? In spite of all he's done for me, he's never asked me for sex. Are you serious? Yes. Huh. That is real. Very rare. But that's not what we're talking about now. I believe that there's something about him that we do not know. <clears throat> Daddy, Daddy said he's a cultist. Eh? Cultist? Hey, I knew it all. Because see, everything about him was just going some, 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 some. Too good to be true. Hey! Hmm. Hmm. I wish he wasn't. I've fallen in love with him. What? Love? Is that what you want to be talking about now? Love? Just can you just forget about love? Are you not grateful to God that this revelation came right now? Oh, you would have preferred him using you for money rituals, okay? Yeah. Forget love, oh. Forget love. Right? Yes, right. This is not the time to talk about love. Have you forgotten my colleague that I to told you about? My learned colleague. The one that ran mad in broad daylight because of the man who she was going to get married to was a staunch cultist. Did I not tell you? I remember, I remember the story. Okay. That's what took me closer to God, though, and I am not letting go. Talking about love. <laughs> so what do I do with Ben? Is that a question? What do you do with Ben? Okay, you want to die? Please, call Ben. Tell him it is over. Your life first. Please. Love will. Another love will come. Father, in the name of Jesus, I present your daughter before you tonight, Lord. Yeah. I say, Lord, you know her marriage plans. Yeah. You know what she wants. Yeah. And I know that in your revelations to me, you have exposed the man in America. Yeah. My God and my Lord, he shall come down here. Yeah. He shall propose to her. Amen. He will not have peace until he has done Amen. so. I heard you expressly because in your word in Psalm 62, 11, you said once have you spoken and twice have I heard that all power belongs to God. Mm -hmm. Therefore, tonight we claim that power of God and call forth that man from America. Amen. He will come forth and he will propose Amen. to you. He will wed you in this church. He will wed you in this church. In the name of Jesus, Amen. nothing will stop it. Oh, yes, Lord. I present your daughter before you. I said nothing will stop it. For your word says in Jeremiah 19, 11, that I know the thoughts that I think towards you. For said the Lord, that they are, O oh Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. You will give her an expected end. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, yes, I see 
that American boy coming, very soon he will come and he will not have peace until he has proposed to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. nothing will stop it. Because South America, 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 America,
Auntie Amaka. Emergency, emergency. Uh, somebody is here. Uh, in fact, I have been trying to call your number, but it was not reachable. What is this, Columbus? I went for a church program. What's the problem? Somebody is here to see you. Eh? And he waited and waited and waited. In fact, he entered into his jeep and drove out. Just like that. He is a big boy. And nobody can keep him waiting just like that. What are you talking about? Who is this person you speak of? Uh, uh, you know I told you of my cousin who lives in Vietnam. He has traveled all over the country. Name it. China, India, America, Japan, Australia, Asia. In fact, finally, Vietnam. He, he married one Yeye Oyibo girl who almost killed him. So he divorced her. Now he is back into the country to look for a wife uh, uh, in the, uh, here in his father's land. So I told him about you. Eh? <laughs> that is why he came here today. He is a big boy with dollars. Spout, pound sterling. Uh, Euro. Cedis. Naira. Finally, Kobo. He has all of them. Eh, eh, but, Auntie Amaka, what do we do now? Because I don't want us to miss this opportunity. Columbus, is there any time I ask you to arrange for a husband for me? Uh, uh, no time, Auntie Amaka. Uh, you know, I am concerned. Uh, you know, you are such a nice person. And, and I am not desperate to get married. And even if I were, it will not come from you. Uh, but Aunt Amaka... Look, listen! Mr. Columbus, let me tell you something. Let this be the last time you will embarrass me with this marriage nonsense. I am not desperate to get married and it is not in your place to address it. Have I made myself clear? Have I made myself clear? Yes, Your Lordship. Are you calling me? Hey! Allah, you. you must marry you. You must marry this man. Ah! You, don't, you want me to lose this opportunity? Who's kind thing with this? Go we'll find for you for here. You go say no. You go find for you for here. Say no. Ah! You must marry that man. Oh. I don't want to lose this opportunity, Biko. You must marry him. <laughs> Ah, hey, Buka. Hey, boss, himself. How are you? Greetings, you, boss. Greetings. Ah. Thank you. What brings you to mind this Saturday morning? Actually, I came to invite you formally for my wedding. <laughs> Surprise, right? You're getting married? Sure, yeah. Hey, Buka. Yeah? You know, you make 27 sound like it's for the summer. Huh? You're still very young. And besides, you and I were talking the other day, you never mentioned that you were getting married. All of a sudden, you're here telling me that you're getting married. What's going on? We were actually pre um, planning for next year, but my wife to be, my fiance, got pregnant. So I decided to just ah. do everything at once. <laughs> I see you knocked the young girl up, huh? Yeah. And now you're trying to make an honorable woman of her. It's good. It is good, but you know, your age worries me, but it's fine. If it's what you want, then I pray that. Um, you know, life favors you in that direction. Uh, my elder brother, my cousin, the one you know, yes. he's just two years older than I am and he has two kids already. So what am I waiting for? I'm doing well in my business. I have a home of my own. So I just need to start off from there. You sound quite enthusiastic. It's good. It's good. So what's this? And uh, here is the card, please. Uh, you came prepared? Yeah. Uh, and the drink. Ah, you came prepared. <laughs> this is good. Thank you very much. I'll be there. Okay, I will be present. I can see from your date that um, what, uh, we still have three weeks to prepare. Okay. Right. 
and I want you to be my chairman. No. <laughs> no, don't do that. Come on. What, a chronic bachelor like me, your chairman? Bachelor is not waiting on four years. As our big boss in town now, please just do it for your a brother in need. Ah, you serious? Okay. If you insist, I'll come there with um, with my harem of chronic bachelors. <laughs> I appreciate you, lot, sir. Congratulations. I appreciate you a lot, sir. Let me run along. I have. People to catch up with to give invitations. It must be a very, very busy Saturday morning for you, I understand. Thank you very much. See you. Understand you. You've been standing there looking at me funny, and I've been asking you, what is the problem? What is the problem? You won't speak up. What is it? I'm pregnant. Mira, you're pregnant. How come? You told me that you were on pills. Why are you pregnant? I don't know how it happened, but I'm two months ready to eat. What? 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 Two months. So you went through the first month, you did not see your period, you didn't see anything. Went through the second month, still did not see anything. Well, it's not a problem. I'll call my doctor friend up. Um, he will see you tomorrow and get rid of that thing that you're carrying. I don't want to abort the baby. Why? You said you're going to get married soon. Oh, I, I get it. I see what, what's happening here. Oh, because I told you at some point that I might get married to you, you decided to take the initiative on our behalf to get pregnant. Wow. Oh, let's just get into it. Let's get into what? Let's get married. I, I, is that what you're saying? Yes. Mary, are you, are, you, are you joking? Do I look to you like I'm ready to get married? Listen, I'm not interested. In marriage. But let's assume I'm interested in getting married. Why would I want to marry a girl who got pregnant out of wedlock? How would it be said that I, Charles, got married to some random girl that I sleep with when I'm tensed up? Why? Because she got pregnant for me. Really? <laughs> Get rid of that thing. Oh. Get rid of it. I'm interested. Get rid of it. You know, that's why you showed up here. You were making faces. You're pregnant. So what? Charlie, you don't get it. You don't. See, there is a big difference between a slay queen and a girlfriend. Mm -mm. I don't agree. There's no difference. Both, really? both of them are drain pipes. Maybe. But with a girlfriend, you know where you stand. A slay queen is transactional. No commitment. But a girlfriend loves you. She cares for you. 
she calls you. A snake, queen, a snake queen calls you too. Uh, well, perhaps. But, but, but for a different reason. Well, my problem is that the girlfriends are beginning to borrow a leaf. Oh, really? From the snake queen. What is the guarantee that you are the only one boyfriending that girl? <laughs> I tell you the truth. Ask anyone. A new boyfriend. The only boyfriend. Boyfriending the girlfriend. Exactly. Are you the only boyfriend? Boyfriending the girlfriend that is girlfriending you? We don't know. So for me, there's no difference. Yeah, yeah, but my point, my point is look at the point here, okay? When a slave queen calls you, she needs money. No, no, she just wants to ward off her competitors. Okay. When she checks on you, she wants to check on her ATM. Uh, when she cares, okay, uh, she wants, just wants to care about the, you know, about, about the money. Nothing much about money. Uh, because she has to fly business class to Dubai. Oh, really? She needs money for photo shoot for Instagram. Oh, really? Uh-huh. So? A snake will clearly sees you as an ATM machine, and then a girlfriend sees you <laughs> as a pawn that will be playing ping pong, ping pong, ping Look, there's no difference. I beg, I get caught. You're mixing it up. I'm not mixing, I'm not mixing it up. It's the same thing. I, hold on. Hello, Richie. Alpha. <laughs> You're getting married. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, boy, congratulations. Eh? You beat us to it oh, this time. <laughs> ah. Okay. I can hear you. Of course, I'll be there. Of course, I'll be there, definitely. Uh, what are friends for? You want me to be your best man? I'm by the rich or draw possible. <laughs> it is not possible. Uh, uh, don't spoil your wedding with your own hands. What do you mean why? Of course, everyone knows that I'm a perpetual bachelor in this town. <laughs> so, it will look good. You know, I look for someone else to do this thing for you. I have been a best man to about 25 to 27 grooms in this town. Uh, how would it look that people walk into your wedding and they see me standing? You know, I look good in a suit, but come on, that's not enough. People see me standing and they say, look at that guy. Every time he stands beside someone who wants to get married, it's not nice. Uh, Richie, why are you stretching this thing now? Oh, yeah, look for another fine boy. I'm not the only fine boy in town. Look for another bobo. That look good in a suit and stuff. <laughs> hey, God, see black man. Richie, listen, I know we go a long way. I'm just... Ha. <laughs> okay. You win. <laughs> I'll do it for you. But this last... <laughs> now you're calling me a professional bachelor. You're nowhere. <laughs> ah, Richie, I'm happy for you. Congrats. Hope your wife is fine, though. Damn it, she's gonna die. What do you mean? What, what, what do I mean? The potter want to cook and now keep somewhere. <laughs> we cannot even visit you. All right, bro. I'm happy for you. See you soon, eh? Yeah. Of course, of course. Uh, we'll, we'll make plans. It's two months from now. All right. Right. <laughs> ah. Your friend. Your friend. Yeah, from university days. Hello? Come on, what's happening? You've not been responding to my messages nor calls. Did I do anything wrong? Ben, I have prayed and sought the face of God over this. Then I got a revelation on your proposal. I'm sorry, it can't work. Okay, Joy, calm down. All right, have I, why have I done anything wrong? Um, you haven't done anything wrong, and I can't begin to say this is it or not exactly. But then, it just can't work. Please, the marriage can't. It can't work. Okay, listen, Joy. I think we need to see. At least let's see and resolve this issue face to face, one on one. At least let's have a talk. Can we just let this matter be? It's not going to work. But then again, we're still friends. So uh, let's leave it at that, please. We can still be friends. We're no enemies. Okay, I, I'm sorry if I got you upset. Sorry. Hello, hello, Ben. Is this how you're going to get married to me? You can't even respect my opinion. 
Wedding, wedding, wedding. Yes, sir. After wedding, what next? Well, after wedding, they live uh, happily ever after. <laughs> huh? Yes. Happily ever after or roughly ever after? Well, not in all cases. Now, have some faith. Uh, don't jinx my friend's wedding. Eh? Eh? Uh, listen, 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 Charlie. I don't have any problem with marriage. No, you do. But I have wedding. Oh, no, I have with wedding. No, you you have a problem, Marie. That is why you are not married. <laughs> that is why you are so look at your car. No, you you are so comfortable. You are not married. It's car for one. It's it's car for one. Car for one. Just one seat, you know. Can you imagine? The one seat is for my load, this is for my stuff, so my, my my drinks and You are going to die as a very lonely old man. Nobody running yes, around I'm, you. I'm a pretty 56, man. But look look at how I look. It, it it's horrible. <laughs> imagine if I had a troublesome wife. And troublesome kids, and troublesome neighbors, and troublesome uh, in-laws, and all the in uh, Well, you would have died. Thank you. Very you would have died, but that is not to say that. That is not to say. Give me a chest. No, but really, no. Let me. Can I ask you a sincere oh question? God, yeah, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Ask me, man. What did women do to you? Women. Yes. What did they do to you? My mother is a woman. We forgot to that. <laughs> oh God. They did nothing to me, but I don't want to do nothing to any woman. I want to be on my own. <laughs> Let it be. No marriage for me. No, 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 no. I don't want avoidable liability. Whatever you do, just don't contaminate me. I still believe in marriage. Uh, I'm not. We're just, we're just, we're just colleagues, okay? Accountant, accountant, okay? That's it. That's it. And I'm your senior, man. Yeah, I, I, I help to make money. What are you doing here? What are you doing in my house at this ungodly hour? I'm sure that stupid gate man didn't check his time before he opened the gate for you. Uh, you had to go find me at the backyard. What are you doing here? No, I... no, 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 Ben, this is embarrassing. It is very embarrassing. What is it? Why are you stalking me? I am sorry. Look, I'm very sorry. I don't understand what is going on. Like, I thought perhaps I might have done something that got you upset, so I came to resolve it. There is nothing to resolve. You and I, you and I, it is over. We are done, like done. Why? I don't know, but we can't get married. See, listen to me, Bene. There are levels to this. And in all honesty, I am not your level. Please, find someone else who is on the same level with you. I am tired, I am done. What is it? Let this be the last time you will call my phone or come anywhere close to me. It is over! So I am... Uh, 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 listen. If you think it is because of your chewing gum money, those small, small things you gave to me that gave you the F1 tree to come looking for me at this ungodly hour, sweetheart, text me your details and I will send you a refund. Joy! What is that? Honestly, you don't, you don't know my excitement, you know? I'm so I'm so I'm so sorry I pulled you out. It's, it's okay. really really noisy over there, mm -hmm. you know. But hey, I, I just had to seize this opportunity to to get really acquainted with you, okay. you know, because I had seen you one time. Yes, I I, I saw you at, at a shopping mall, you know, the very big mall in town. And what had happened was I was driving in and I saw you in in your lawyer outfit. You weren't looking so happy, but you were rushing <laughs> to the car. And before I, you know, I found a parking space to park, rushed out of my car, tap on your car, get your attention. Ah, you had reversed and you had left. Are you serious? I can't, I can't yeah. even remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. You know, mm. and ever since then, I've just been hoping to run into you again. Okay, so I have a confession to make. 
Oh, you do? Yes. Um, I had seen you before. Where? In Lekki, between Lekki Phase 1 and Lekki Phase 2. In traffic, I think someone had brushed your car or something like that. I remember, <laughs> I remember some dark fat guy. Yes. Ah. He caused a hell of a traffic and I was like, wait a minute. This guy is cute. His wife must really, really be lucky. Can you say that one more time? <laughs> He's cute. Ah, <laughs> my head! <laughs> and his wife is really lucky. Just so you know, I'm single and searching. Oh, wow. Mm. Just maybe my wife is standing right in front of me right now. We're at a wedding, you know that. I know. And I'm really excited to be standing here as the best man. You know, try to get the attention of the most beautiful <laughs> maid of honor at this wedding. Stop, please. <laughs> what? You know okay. what? They, they, they want my attention. I need to get that. But okay. I'm, I'm not letting you go this time. You're coming with me. <laughs> You're coming. You know, did I tell you I went back to that mall? You did? Yeah, I'm hoping to spot you again, thinking it's your favorite mall. And then I run into you. But no luck, you know? No luck. Wasn't lucky that time.
I ask my mama the meaning of love Just like tangerine When you test it to a few different inside Just like tangerine no. That attracts them, right. repels them later. Really? As a fact, you doing it for some other person. <laughs> like, okay, fine guy now, all right? right? You're smiling, you're talking, you're smiling. A lady out there sees you, oh my God, oh my gosh, I love this guy. Now you go for her, you marry her. She sees you doing the same thing out there to some other people. It's a problem. The same yeah. reason, the same factor that made her fall in love with you. Oh, well. Yeah, that, that, that's the name. You, you think that's the case for every woman? Oh, well, I'm talking, I'm talking from experience, man. So I'm telling you why. Tell you why I've started to stay where, the way I am. So I can express myself anytime, anywhere. You know, I don't want to know who is jealous or who is not jealous. I can't live with all that. No, no, no. I'm also very jealous, too. So I keep to myself. Okay, Bob. I, 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 I think um, women are different. Because I, for one, I think I have met someone really different. I, 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 I met this lady. Her name is Amaka. Tell me. And she looks beautiful. Uh -huh. Listen, let me tell you something. She is hardworking. She is intelligent. She is committed. She is a lawyer, so she's not a liability. Wow. And above all, she is mature. My kind of woman. All this for one person. I was just waiting to break the news to you. All this in one person. All of this in one person. I'm uh, telling you, to think that I never knew that I, that such people still exist. I mean, you know, we were constantly dining with frogs every day. But you see this girl, she's, she's special. That's cruel, man. That's cruel. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I didn't know all this excitement was about a woman. But no, no, no. This one is not a woman. My woman, Amaka is my woman and we're getting married i already proposed that she said yes really yeah no time i mean 
This, this is serious. No time. <laughs> Charles, you? I'm getting married. Congratulations, you can go. <laughs> you can go. I got no problem with that. No, you shouldn't. You I, should be happy for me as a matter of fact. But I am happy for No, you're not going to discourage me, are you? Disco, why would I do that? Uh, no, you shouldn't because I'm, I'm leaving you. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving your club. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get me alive. I know to think that I almost didn't go for, the, for that wedding. Nearly. Nearly. I was there when the call came. Exactly. And you were like, no, 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 no. You don't want to be the 27th uh, whatever. <laughs> You've been best man all your life. I'm telling you, but you see, wow. there's, there's just something about how God, God works in mysterious ways. I call God the master planner. The ogre of all arrangers and arrangees. She was also the bridesmaid at the wedding while I was the best man. So we're standing side by side, the couple, and we were looking at each other. And the chemistry, they were like the real couple. The chemistry was instant. And since then, Amaka and I, it's just been beautiful. Congratulations. Take it, take it, take it, take it. For Amaka, for Amaka. Cheers, cheers, for Amaka. Cheers, for Amaka. Thank you. Beautiful. Committed. What did you say again? Intelligent. Intelligent, yeah. Hard working. Oh, yeah. She's a lawyer, so okay. she's not a liability. Not a liability, okay. Above all, she's mature. Wow. Thank you. Congratulations. You know, the problem we, we have as a people is there's your kind out there. No matter how you are structured, there is your kind. It's just that we refuse to be patient enough to meet a kind. Oh, yeah. There is, yeah, I'm positive that you must have met your kind. But you know you now, you're very adamant. You're not thinking of marriage, so you let them go. I, I found my kind and I'm going to be here. Yes, I have met my kinds and they have children for me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Can I stop being your friend? How could you, man? How could you? I'm <laughs> I've met their kinds and they have children for yeah, me. You've met your kinds and you just got kids out of them. Bagam, that's enough for me. Yeah. No stress. Are you serious? <laughs> I was shocked. As in, no arguments, no quarrel, just love at first sight. My oh. mom just loved him instantly. Hmm, who wouldn't? <laughs> I mean, he's cute and both of you seem to be a match made in heaven. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Have you met his mother? Hmm. My darling, I met his mother on our way back from the village. So beautiful, soft-spoken, as in hardly argues, very nice, unlike my mom. Oh. <laughs> Your mother should have been a lawyer. <laughs> you know that's what they call her in the village. They call her lawyer. <laughs> Firebrand. Hmm. Well, you mm. know, I really do love her. A lot. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's strong. Mm and intelligent, unlike my mother. Mm. She wasn't there for us. She abandoned us when we were little. She took off with another man. My father remarried. <laughs> to cut the long story short, we really suffered. He. Hmm? That's all in the past now. And we have overcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see, 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 see Charles, eh? I, I, seriously, I share your excitement. No, you should, you're my friend. Yeah, yeah, it, it's really infectious. I've never seen you in this kind of mood before. Yeah, but I still have to ask some basic questions. Go ahead. Fine. This very Amaka, have you checked her out? You know what I mean. I know what you mean. I have. All right. She's clean. I mean, the the, the, the few days we we'll have spent together. You know, and um, I searched deeply. Do you know? I, I went as far as bugging her phone. Trust yeah, and I tell you, she is very, very clean. Wow. Yeah, like I said before, this girl is mature committed and intelligent you know she's just exactly what i've been looking for all my life so my second question yeah if she is so wonderful dedicated mature beautiful that 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 why is she not married yet you told me she's in her mid-30s bob can you try not to be pessimistic please come on charles this is not about pessimism this is about reality Marriage is for better or for worse. They say it's for life, eh? Uh, 
But if someone walks in here and asks the same question about me, what would you say? You? Yes, me. I mean, I'm, I'm a nice guy. I'm one of the sweetest persons you would ever meet. I'm, I'm just... I'm just nice. <laughs> but look at me, I'm still single. So these things happen. Life happens. You're not going to judge a man like that. Well, come on. Wow. Nice. Sweetest guy. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody sets exams for himself and fails. Meaning what, Bob? It's easy for you to say, you are this, you are that, you are that. Now, what if I say something different? What if I say that you're a very stubborn guy? <laughs> you're a control freak. And above all, you are Oko Ashawo. <laughs> You know what you are, Bob? You're just an irresponsible. That's what you are. You're not going to spoil my happiness. I mean that girl. <laughs> okay. You ask a question, I answer. And now I become a uh, chairman of Wishes and Wizards, huh? <laughs> no, no, but, but seriously, seriously, I'm happy for you. Anyway, congratulations once again. About I don't need your first. Congratulations once again. It's not easy, okay? Have you told our pastor yet? Uh, no, I haven't too. I haven't. Everything has been happening so fast, but I will see him very soon. You should. I know. You have to seek the face of God first. I know. And I pray there are no obstacles in the way. Amen. As for me, I'm still believing God in my own prophecy concerning my Obodo evil husband. Hmm. It will come to pass. It will happen. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Just have faith. Faith like that of a mustard seed. It will happen. Mm -hmm. And when it happens, you travel to Obudu to have your first child. You will send me a ticket. Mm -hmm. You know that. Mm -hmm. And I'll come and do a move for you. <laughs> I can't I can't So shall it be in Jesus' Amen. name. Nothing oh. will stop it from happening. I can't oh? wait. Just have faith. I wonder what you will look like. Uh, Look at you now, yellow pom pom. And born in America. Hey. I hold this. Wow. Isn't it a nice time? Thank you. I gotta go. I gotta go. Mm. Wow. Yeah, lest I forget though. Yeah. Um just so you know though, um we're looking at having the introduction next week. Wow, so fast. Yeah, so fast. I mean, what are we waiting for? <laughs> uh, the earlier, the better. Yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be small, though. Very small. I told you, she's, she's different. Wow. Yeah, but we're making it um, really small. Um, she insists that um, she doesn't want anything loud. I'm also thinking that I agree with her. So, But the wedding is going to be quite elaborate. But this one would be small. We just get it done. Do the traditional rites and then... Okay, okay. That's all right. I'm happy for you. You should be. You're, you're my friend. <laughs> but as for the white, uh, you'll be my best one now. Excuse me? What? Best man? Me? What? You're not married. You can't also support me as best man. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. Anything, marriage, wedding, nah, 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 that's for me. I'm just fine the way I am. I'm going to be there. I will support you, but come stand there as best man on nah, 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 nah that's for me. Come on. Oh. Come on. I will recommend somebody for you, don't worry. <laughs> please, please, no, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. If you're not getting married, at least be someone this Take as usual, but I am fine. Sorry, sorry. Mm. I understand. Okay, not to worry. Once we are settled and all, mm -hmm. probably get you a better job. One that pays more but affords you time to, you know, relax a bit. You know what? What? That will be extremely <laughs> wonderful. Put it in. Thank you. You're so, welcome. how was your day? Um, my day was okay. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't do much because I had called up the parish um, Reverend Father. 
that I'll be coming over to see him so that we can talk. So I went there um, to discuss our wedding plans with him. Reverend Father, why Reverend Father? Why not Reverend Father? Sweetheart, you know that we're wedding in my church, not yours, right? And I've spoken to my pastor about it and he said he will wed us when we're ready. Says who? Well, you told me you had to go to church. So for that reason, I should abandon my church and have this wedding in your church. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised. I... I don't see why you're surprised, babe. I'm the man here. The wedding is going to happen in my church. Not to you, you're the woman, sweetheart. I'm getting married to you. Okay, so it's not... It's now a thing of the man and the woman, not... <coughs> no. Uh, not now. You're tired. It's been a long day. We'll talk about this when you're arrested. Well, you... Sweetheart. Hmm? When you're arrested. Let's go. Come on, we'll talk about it later. Come on now. Huh? What? <laughs> oh, that's it. I don't know how you eat watermelon with all these seeds. I have to make sure all the seeds are out. But I don't know if nature wanted the seeds out, it shouldn't have come with the seeds. So when you eat oranges or when you is it eat or drink or <laughs> where, where you where you suck oranges? <laughs> When you suck oranges, do you suck them with the seeds? <laughs> okay, so let me try without the seeds now. Ah, gosh, I don't know how people do this. Uh, well, watermelon is nice, though. Mm, I know. Yes. Fresh. <sighs> Sweetheart. Yes. You know about this wedding? Mm -hmm. I was thinking we'll just set it out. Okay. And I want you to have an open mind. All right? You know that my parents are Catholics. You know that my father is a knight of the church. Okay. Think about it. How would they feel? Imagine the embarrassment they would have to deal with. If it is said that their son was dragged by a woman he's supposed to be marrying to some Yahoo Yahoo Pentecostal church for a wedding. Charles, please, do not address my church in that manner. My pastor is an exceptionally gifted and anointed man of God. Sweetheart, be careful. Oh yes, be wary of all this pretender on the throne, be careful. You see all these Yahoo Yahoo Pentecostal churches littered all over the place. How many of them are, are, are real men of God? Listen, I told myself from when I was pretty young that I would never attend a church that is set up by one man and his wife. Charles, please, can you just stop? This is not just about, you know, a building or a church or anything. It's about where the presence of God and the Holy Spirit reigns. In my church. No. In calm my down, church. Calm down. Do you see all these Orthodox churches? They're just about routine and doing this at a certain time and doing this a certain way. They lack anointing. They lack passion. They lack the fire and the Holy Ghost. They lack. See. They lack what? They lack abracadabra. They lack entertainment. That is what it is. You see that anointing? That is entertainment. That is what it is. Entertain, they just entertain you people, and that's why they are all over the place on social you media. Know what? Can we just change no, the topic? No, we can't change the topic, all right? Time is drawing near. We need to sort this wedding issue out so that we can have this wedding in peace. Then why don't you show my pastor some, some sort of respect? How have I disrespected him? Because you're calling him names. Can you stop the name calling? Well, I didn't say your pastor. The Bible is, says that what? Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Can we just end this topic now? You can have the whole bowl if you choose. There's still more in the kitchen. What? That you're perfect. There's no harm. What are you talking about? I've been showing you in my shop. Catholic. I was born Catholic, you know that, right? So? 
Do you even go to church? You don't go to church. You don't do anything. You just go there occasionally just to mark register. If I wasn't a child of God, you wouldn't even want to get married to me. We're having the wedding in my church. Amaka, he met you in my church. Why won't he wed you in my church? I am confused, Daddy. I don't know what to do. This is not what I bargained for. I'm sure you are aware of what the Bible says, that we should not be equally yoked with unbelievers. You know that. I know, but you also know my situation, Daddy. For so long, I believed God for the perfect husband. And Charles came along. He fits the bill 100%. And I truly love him. I, but you also know that time is no longer on my side. There's something I want you to know. It is the woman who holds the spiritual balance in any family. This is a time to show forth your strength and commitment in the things of God. The God that you serve. Now, let me just tell you something. Um, it was my wife who made me the pastor I am today. Really? Yes, of course. He said, things were very bad for me and I was not strong in the things of the Lord and uh, my business almost crumbled. In fact, I was going down the drain until my wife convinced me to go for prayers with her at her new church. Um, she told me, of course, that the presence of God was made manifest in that church. Well, I reluctantly agreed and joined her for prayers and the rest is history. I mean, the effect is rather imagined and discussed. Look at me. You can see the power of God showing in my life. It can happen to you. Honestly, someday it will be well. But you must use this opportunity to hold the spiritual direction of your family. No matter the resistance, it should not deter you. Who knows? Someday, but I'm sure of this, things will be well and everybody will be happy. That's the end of it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Have you seen it? It's only Amaka. Have you seen it? This is what I have been telling you, but you wouldn't listen. Now look at it. And this is the reason you rejected Chief Akugo's son. Eh? Yes. Mama, you know the reason I rejected Chief Akugo's son. It was not because of church at all. He was just an empty head. Was or still, I don't even know which one he belongs to. He was all about his father's wealth. My father's money this, my father's money that. Was I going to be married to his father's money? I am too educated to settle with a dunce. I can't do that. Amaka, sometimes I wish you weren't a lawyer. Yes, it makes you so stubborn. Mama, why are you doing this? Why are you fighting me? Why are you criticizing me? Are you not supposed to be on my side? Amaka, I am not criticizing you. I am just telling you the whole truth. Whole truth or not, it has nothing to do with my dilemma. It cannot solve what I'm going through right now. Okay. Okay. So, you want a solution, eh? Now, listen to me. You have to stop all the arguments with your husband and agree to wait in his church. After all, it is also your parents' church. Eh? Then, after, you cannot continue with your own church. God, what will everybody say? My choir members, my pastor, Reverend James, Reverend Peter. What are they going to say that Sister Maka left the church to get married somewhere else? This is going to be so embarrassing, so shameful. What am I going to tell them? How am I even going to set my foot in the church? Amaka, whether you like it or not, you are not supposed to be crying. You are supposed to be rejoicing. Look at me today. I didn't get everything I wanted from your father. I did not. But look at me today. Look at me. I am here. Look at my, all my achievements. You have seen everything. So, 
You have to comport yourself. Just bring yourself down. Are you not proud of me, Amaka? Say it! Answer me now! He's just acting like a dog in a manger. I don't even understand why he's insisting. All these men that don't go to church, they are very dangerous. They don't have the fear of God in them. Some of them are cultists. It's not as if Charles does not go to church. He does go to church. But he is not committed. At all. Psst. And trust me, the only time they get to go to church is probably when they're in their villages. And that is to show off. He said it himself. That he only goes to church to please his mother. Who does that? You go to church just to please your mother. That's the reason I asked if you've seen daddy. At least daddy will assess him with his spiritual eyes. Daddy's not happy with me at all. He's not. But he has requested to see us tomorrow. I just pray he makes him see reasons. Not to worry, I trust Daddy. But if you ask me if he doesn't wed you in our church, then there should be no wedding. Because come to think of it, that is the only place you have your friends. The crowd, the choir, everyone. Exactly. He, he just, just doesn't understand it and I don't know why. How? I can't wed in that dull church. I understand. I need to wed in a church where, you know. Mm. <sighs> He'll be fine. He'll be fine, okay? At least see daddy first. First things first. Fine, babe. You're good? Yes. Um, my... Where's the remote? It's there. Do you want me to get it? No, it's fine. You were going to say something. Yes. Um, my pastor has requested to see you. For what? I don't know. He said he wants to have a one-on-one -on -one with you. What is this, um... What is this one-on-one -on -one about? Sweetheart, listen, if it's about the wedding, tell him that I'm not coming to see him. And also do well to tell him that I'm getting married to you and not to him and his church members. Don't, don't be like this. This church and my pastor, they have, they've been my backbone for several years. As a matter of fact, the job I have now, I got from his connection. I hold several positions in the church and my pastor uses me as a role model to all the young girls in church. How would they now feel when they say, oh, Sister Maka is getting married outside the church? Please, darling, please. Let's just get married in the church and then you can choose not to come to the church ever again. Amaka, I won't bother Amaka, you. Amaka, you see your attachment to your pastor is beginning to get me to think. Yeah, that's the truth. You know, if I had known that you were this committed and attached to your pastor and your church, like, we, 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 we wouldn't be talking about marriage. The first place, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have come this far with this conversation. Honestly. How can you say that? I'm telling you the honest truth. I'm beginning to feel that we might have problems in our marriage. Really? Oh, yes. And I'll have you know that I have zero tolerance for women who despise their husbands but worship their pastors. Charles, how can, you, how can you be saying all of this? Because I know how those things work. These women go ahead to start sleeping with their pastors. I have pastor friends. I know what happens in the church. Especially these Yahoo Yahoo churches. I know what happens there. Alright? Well, maybe other churches, but not my church. Certainly not my pastor. You never can tell. Oh yes, I can tell you for free that pastors sleep with their church members, whether married or unmarried. I'm asking again, are you sleeping with this man? Charles, are you... 
Okay, why would you ask me that kind of question? What do you mean by that? You better not be lying to me. Really? You know what? This matter has lingered for too long. All right? My stance on this is simple. We're Africans, and I'm a traditional man. Okay? A woman does not have a church until she's married. So now that we're married, my church is your church. I don't see what we're arguing about. Charles, just this one favor I ask. This is sorted. Please. Oh, sweetheart. I've tried what I've tried everything, but you need to help me, please. Well, I can see your mind is made up. I don't have a problem with it, but uh, my fear is that what the congregation will say about a staunch member like you, committed strong, going away to another church. I am not going away. I am coming back after the wedding. It's just for the wedding day. Yeah, but honestly, it is not healthy for a couple to be worshipping in different churches. It's not. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 3 says that shall any two work together except they agree? Agreement is key. It is not healthy for a couple to worship in different churches. I know that to show my commitment to the church, I am willing to pay whatever it would have cost for me to have the wedding here. I am willing to pay every single kobo from my pocket. It's okay. <laughs> what more can I say? You are a committed member, a very strong one at that. Well, I will protect your image and the church. Thank you, Daddy. The rest are short. <laughs> well, my daughter, um, maybe that's another way God wants to bring your husband into the fold. Exactly. Because I'm willing to do everything, whatever it takes, to make sure he worships with us. He will see the difference. He's not so keen in worshipping in his own church. It's just this ego thing that men have. Anytime a woman brings up an idea or a suggestion, you just want to go against it because it was a woman that brought it up. <laughs> yes, I understand that. I know men are their ego and all that. They always want to get the upper hand. But, you know, it's different with uh, men of God like us, anointed. We understand the place of a woman. We know that women are the pillars of the home. <laughs> but it's okay, it's well. Praise God for that. <laughs> yeah, bow down, let me pray for you. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your daughter. Amen. Even as she goes to another church to marry, we believe that the body of Christ is one. Amen. She shall go in peace. Amen. Lord, the ministry power behind this ministry shall go with her. Amen. Nothing will stop her finances in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Go and be blessed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> uh, so, you know that our wedding is in less than two months. Yeah, you know, seven weeks to be precise. Uh, so this Sunday, our names will be announced in church as um, church tradition demands. Um, I think after what three announcement, um, we'll be good to go. Hmm. All these old church traditions. Mm -hmm. What old church tradition, darling? Those old church traditions are the traditions that brought the church to our people. Those are the people that paid the price, made the sacrifice, inconvenienced themselves to take the church to the local communities. Eh? They told us about our Lord Jesus Christ. They taught us everything that we need to know about Christianity. It's not what you have now. It's not this 
fake men of God yeah. that you have everywhere, you know, sleeping with people's wives and, and exploiting people, extorting Charles. money from them Charles. in the name of seeds, tight offering, first fruit, second fruit. Charles. Yes, baby. Have I not agreed to wed in your church? You have. So what is this now? Why are you rubbing it in? Why are you just, you know, overflogging the matter? We heard you were complaining. Complaining, so I do not have the right to complain. Complaining is my fundamental human right, in case you do not know. I have the right to complain if I feel the need to, anywhere, anyhow, any way I choose. It is my right. I agree. It's also my right to respond and educate you appropriately. Do you know what? Yes. I'm not complaining again. Please don't. Can we just drop the top? <laughs> <laughs> but you know about our Lord Jesus Christ, don't you? I have just told you that I, I, I'm not complaining. <laughs> As a matter of fact, darling, I, I made a to-do list. Yes. I, I, as you can see, there, there are duplicated copies here. So one for you. Hold now. Uh -huh. One for me. On the first page, you have a list of the things um, that we have to do. Like I said, we have just seven weeks. Um... Marriage course is very important. Food, drinks, wedding venue, invitation card, wedding gown, wedding suit, um, gifts, decoration, extra. This list is a bit long. You know, we're working on a budget. Um, cameramen, if necessary. Souvenirs. Do we need? Do we? Do we need souvenirs? Anything you, you decide. This is just a rough sketch. You know, it's subject to change. Then I see master of ceremony. I have a, a, a classmate of mine now. He's one of the um, comedians trending on social media. So I'll call him um, to come and support us. Um, he's not a pastor trending on social media. He's a comedian. A DJ. Um, photo shoot. Do we need to do a photo shoot? No. Um, transportation. People, people are going to come in their cars. Trick. Yeah. Um, come back. Why? Why did I? Yeah, that's about it. Okay, cooling van for the drinks. The weather is cool now, so people don't need cold water. No, 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 no. Come on, let's be nice to them. Mm, cooling van. Mm -hmm. okay. well, you have a con any a contribution we, we can add to? So this is subject to, you know, to, you know, to your, you know. As a lordship, please. Okay. So traditionally, um, this is how, you know, things are meant to be done, you know. Uh -huh. Don't tell me you're serious about moving in. Yes, now. I told you. The amount of work we have to do before the D-Day is so enormous and we cannot do it staying very far apart. We cannot coordinate that way, so I got to do what I got to do. I understand, especially with this Lagos traffic. This Lagos traffic? This mad traffic? I can't, I can't. I will not be productive at all. But then again, I am happy that the issue has been solved. Hmm, Joy, I never knew this my wedding was generating so much attention. It's on the lips of everyone in the office, in the church, all the shops I've been to, they're all waiting. Imagine if I had gone back to them to say, no wedding again. God forbid. I can imagine. I will even be feeling the pressure from her. I know, I know. <laughs> but thank God everything is resolved. My darling, I have two bags inside. Please help me. Okay. Me, okay? All right. Thank you. Auntie Amaka. Mm -hmm. ah. So if to say, I no come. Now so only you for carry this big bag without calling me to help you. 
Is that how you like to suffer? Suffer? It's just a small bag. It's barely full. Eh. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, but, Aunt Emaka, I don't know you are this wicked. Uh, what, what do you mean? So, for all this fasting and prayer, they have been doing for you, on your head, for you to get good husband. You are just going to pack out without settling me. <laughs> Mr. Columbus, the kind of things you come up with, they're so weird and funny. There's nothing funny. Sister Amaka, hmm. the Bible says a laborer is worthy of his wages. Don't you go to church? I do. Ah. Don't worry, I am not packing out. I'm still here. My things are still in the house. I'm just temporarily leaving to go and get set for, for my wedding. It is not okay. In fact, I am not okay. Eh? You must settle me. Okay. But I gave you some money yesterday, didn't I? <coughs> but that was... Uh, it, it was not packing out money. Oh, there is now packing out money? Of course. <laughs> Alright, no problem. Let me go and get my bag. And then I'll see you. Uh -huh. I am going, but not packing out. Okay? okay? All right. <laughs> I am waiting, you know. <laughs> no leave, no transfer. I am still hanging on. Eh? <laughs> hey, I must receive my own miracle today. Miracle no retire Jesus. <laughs> Nami be Columbus. <laughs> And tell me, I'm at the law. And I'm at the law. <laughs> ah, I'll miss you. And I'll miss you too, darling. <laughs> but I'm not going, going. I'm still here. My things are still in the house. If there's any need for me to be around, I'll pop in. Okay? How will I cope alone? You will cope fine. Okay? Just make sure you take care of yourself and you always lock the doors. Okay? I'll remember that. Good. Columbus, make sure you take care of how. I will, I will. <laughs> More than. All right. I need to go. All right. Bye. <laughs> take care. <laughs> okay. Um. Packing out money. There you go. I'm at the law. <laughs> That's why I trust bye, you. Bye. You know the shame. Look at. Now your mate give me this one. You don't need any pastor to pray for you to get a husband. I'm the one that pray for her. <laughs> Only what you need is that. Go and get the good husband. Ah, Mark, let me go and open the gate. Not for you. Hello, Sister Joy. How are you? Hello, Daddy. I am not happy with you. Me? What could it be matter? I want to see you. It's not something we should discuss over the phone. I want to see you and now. Um, you can't see me now because I'm preparing for a delivery service. In fact, I was just standing up to leave the office now. Um, is this matter something that can wait till tomorrow? What time tomorrow? That's uh, 5 p.m. at the office. See, um, Joy, just calm down. There's no matter God cannot solve. Okay? By the grace of God, we'll find the solution to the office. 5 p.m. then. I 
ask my mama the meaning of love Just like tangerine when you test it to a feel different and fly <laughs> You're going to try me <laughs> How are you? I'm fine Good. Welcome Thank you Right, sorry yeah. Yeah. yeah, here, here. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. All right, I see this one. Yeah. Um, and um, this one. Okay. And this. Oh my god. Oh. All right. Okay. okay, thank you. This one over here, that's for what. Can I handle this? Yes, I can. Okay. Thanks. No need. All the other day, I asked my mama. The meaning of love Just like tangerine When you test it to a feel Different inside Just like tangerine no. When you test it to a feel Different inside Oh, 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 oh Give up on the Oh, the other day, I asked my mama the meaning of love. Just like tangerine, when you test it to a feel different inside. Just like tangerine, no, when you test it to a feel different inside. Oh, give up on the OG, I'm on the love. Give up on the OG, I'm on the love. I ask my mama the meaning of love Just like tangerine when you test it to a feel different inside Sleep with the lights on. I can't sleep with the lights out. I'm afraid of the dark. So what am I going to do now? I want the lights back on, please. <laughs> Thank you. Good night.
What is this matter that made you sound so serious on phone? You've shown me how little I mean to you. What are you saying? You made me reject Ben and other suitors before me. But has gone ahead to approve of Amaka getting married to an outsider. And he's even planning wedding her in another church. Oh, come on, Sister Joy. It is not the way you just put it. Tell me, how should I put it? Listen, I, I only advise that we do not be equally yoked with unbelievers, just as the Spirit directed. No, but the Spirit did not direct you in Amaka's case. Oh, of course it did, and I told her. But she insisted on getting married to the man, and I couldn't stop her. But you stopped me. Daddy, you stopped me. This is not fair. This is not fair, Daddy. Ben was willing to wed me in our church, yet you rejected him. But went ahead to approve of that stubborn man who hasn't even honored your invitation up until now. If you ask me, this is passionate. This is Sister Joy. You are exaggerating things. You are misunderstanding it. Have you forgotten that you and Amaka are not in the same category? You're saying Amaka is higher than me. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that Amaka is not getting any younger. Time is running out on her. Yes, I mean, time is running out on her. Just understand that. You're different. So I'm the one, I'm the one who is a vampire, right? Like I'm not injured myself. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Hello? Hello, Dad. Yes, I made a transfer to your account. Please confirm it. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, I, I got it, yes. Thank you, thank you. Okay, it's okay. Thank you. Um, please, I, I still need all the help that you can render. Anything at all. Yes, at this time I need all the help you can render to me, please. Uh, um, I'll speak to you later. Uh, I'm in the middle of a meeting now, okay? All right, thank you, Daddy. I'll call you back later. All right, bye-bye. Forever to come. Listen, my dear, the prophecies of God take time. A thousand years is like a day before God. Come on. They manifest at the time of God. As his own time, not our own time. Come on. Oh. My baby, do do this. Everything will be well. Now give daddy a smile. I don't know, sometimes you even look prettier where you frown. I still love you, come on. Ah, okay. Wanna give daddy a kiss? Alright. Leave me alone. Come on, come with daddy to the Leave me, leave me. Oh, please, please. No, please, I'm not in the mood. It shows you're still angry with me. Shut it down. Now, Hey, Auntie Joy, Auntie Joy. <laughs> Auntie Joy, you're welcome. Uh, Auntie Joy, Auntie Joy, uh -uh. not so fast. Eh? Auntie Joy, you are welcome. Thank you. What? <laughs> uh, Auntie Joy, 
Do you know that life is done by stone? And what do you mean by that? Uh, I want to officially tell you that your friend Amoka has made it. <laughs> now it is your turn. But I know one that kind of stingy man like Amaka's husband who used to keep wallets at the back of the back pockets eh? and keep the real money inside pants. I know one time. Um, 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 what is your name again? What, what, what is that your name? That Columbus. Columbus, right? Uh -huh. Listen to me. I am not a maka who takes all kinds of nonsense from you. Uh -huh. Stay away from me. Stay on your lane and mind your business. Uh -huh. Why is he even angry? Eh? Is it my fault that uh, 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 no better man has come for you? Eh? The only thing you know is how to follow all these Chingon boys, all these Malian boys, all these Kepu Kepu boys that used to wear pants on top of boxer. It's not your fault. Oh, it's not your fault. If nobody say the aeroplane where they drive crash, what am I even doing here? Wedding after party. Hi, wedding after party. Hi, eh? Wedding after party. Hmm? Wedding after party. <laughs> hey, Columbus, Columbus, you're not gonna kill yourself. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Good evening, sir. Joy, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you. <laughs> Please sit down. Thank you. I'm not gonna ask that shit. See how I died, but I said it's better to be early than late. Right, right, right. Uh, she's not here yet, though. Um, I guess she's stuck in traffic then. Oh, yeah, she should be in traffic. What do I offer you? Uh, not to worry, I'm fine. You sure? You. Yes, I am. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you're you. So fast about. I mean, you're so fast concerning your marriage with Amaka. <laughs> oh, do you have me do now? I have been single for too long. Uh, now that I have met a beautiful woman like Amaka, I rather not wait. <laughs> I'm really just excited, you know. Don't want to miss out this, on this opportunity. Meaning you are not marrying out of love. Well, I haven't said so. Uh, <laughs> I haven't said so. Um, you see, you know, honestly, I think you guys exaggerate the the, the place of love in marriage. Yeah, because really love is not enough, you know. I mean, I have, I have dated and fallen in love with a lot of women that I, that I really loved, but couldn't marry. Uh, why? I mean, if you love someone, you should marry that person. Nah, no, my dear. It, it doesn't work that way. Mm, trust me. Listen now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying should, the partners shouldn't love themselves. I mean, I mean, love is important in marriage, but uh, you see, maturity and understanding uh, are key elements that you know one should really look out for. I mean, look around you, see what's happening all over the place. People killing themselves because they, you know, stabbing their spouses because what they, they, they love so much that they cannot take all that comes with the pressure of being married. Uh, that's what I call love without maturity. If you get what I'm trying to say. People stabbing people. See what's happening, you know? So people just love. Mm -hmm. No maturity, no, no understanding. You get what I mean? Yes, I do. So, <laughs> but, but cheating can be painful. Of course, I agree. I mean, cheating can be very painful. But if you're, if you're with someone who is... You know, forgive my friends, silly enough not to respect the sanctity of what the both of you have. You have an option. You, you walk away. Ah, oh, you're right. Easier said than done. I'm telling you. Mm. Why would you want to kill you? See, nobody can kill you. <laughs> nobody can. I, I will take your life. I will kill you first before you kill me. I will kill you over and over and over and over again. Nah. <laughs> nah. Don't come and kill me. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. <laughs> Don't kill me. But I then I give you thumbs up. Mm. Thumbs up in the earth. For holding my friend down. You are indeed a strong man. Thank you. Thank you very much. But however, what uh, how, what do you mean by that? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you don't know my friend up until now. I mean, 
she is very stubborn and quite domineering. She always, always, always has a way. Mm -hmm. Oh, but mm. I love her like that. I love her like that. I mean, she's so dear to my heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I I am confident that I'm equal to the task. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, she's not here yet. But she should be here soon. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this year's band will be tough. How do you mean tough? We were just casually talking about the rate of starving of husbands by their jealous wives and his mood changed instantly. Mm -hmm. How? He said, um, I will kill the woman as many times before she even thinks about it. Are you serious? I don't understand. <laughs> Why? That's serious. In all honesty, he scared me. He really wow. did. He was like, I am not marrying out of love. He's only getting married because of maturity and understanding. Meaning what? I don't know. I don't know. He was like, for example, if he cheats on you tomorrow, you will only get to pray for him instead of stabbing him. <laughs> and that is because you are matured and understand that men are just like that. <laughs> I want to believe honestly that he was joking. I hope so. I hope. I, I pray. I, I believe he's joking. But please, me, hmm? don't tell him. Just so he doesn't look like we're talking about him. Do I look like a child to you? <laughs> Thank you. So back to why I came. Yes. So you were saying? Um, can we just do flowers, you know? Real flowers or the artificial ones have a way of just making everything look tacky. You think so? I think so. I had a hectic day at work. How come you're tired again? How are you I tired have a again headache. today? I have a headache, please, please. Why are you like this now? This is what you've been telling me since you came here. You're starving me. You're starving me. I don't understand. Eh? Charles, we're not married yet. Can't we just wait till our wedding night? What did you say? What do you mean we're not married? I paid your bride price. Yeah. Every other thing, apart from bride price, I just met ceremonies. We're married. Charles, no. No, we're, 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 The white wedding is the real marriage for me, please. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, listen, there. I'm a traditional man. What I recognize are the traditional rights and I have fulfilled those rights. You and I are married. Don't deny me my right. Charles, I made a covenant with God that I will not sleep with my husband until our wedding night. That I will not let my husband touch me until our wedding night. And I intend to keep it that way. What kind of selfish confidence is that? Did you put me into consideration before me making that kind of covenant? I'm holy, I want you. How do you expect me to cope till your wedding night? What do you want me to do? How have you been coping? Really? You want to know how we're coping? Trust me, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want that piece of information. Look, I've been holding myself, waiting, waiting, waiting for a night like this. You, you, you don't do this now. Don't stop me. Wait a little longer. The wedding is just around the corner. Please. I don't like what you're doing. Honestly, how do you expect me to be this close to you and, and, and not feel like a man? 
I'm all aroused. I, I want you. Maybe we should just sleep separately. Excuse me? Yes. Just please respect my feelings. We'll have the rest of our lives together after the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I hope it doesn't rain today. Oh. No, what that report says it's going to be sunny. You know what it said? Sunny, cloudy, with some rain, maybe. With a chance now, so, of rain. Thank you. So, what do we go with? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My pastor says that Nigerian weather forecasters are not to be trusted. They're even worse than native doctors. <laughs> Sweetheart, um, is it possible we have a conversation without your pastor coming up? In our conversations, is it? Is it possible? I only quoted him. Can you stop quoting him, please? Why are you... Why are you looking for something wrong in this conversation? I didn't see it. You know what? I need to run to work. My office is very far from here, okay? Alright. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Ask my mama the meaning of love Just like that Hello, yeah, hello, who is this? It's me, Joy. How are you? Uh, uh, ben, don't tell me you've deleted my number. It is Joy. Your own joy, you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> joy. How are you? Hmm. I am still where you abandoned me. <laughs> Wait, did you just say I abandoned you? Yes. Uh, I mean, I told you we, we can be friends, but you just blanked out. I blanked out. <laughs> Do I remember you blocked me both on phone and on WhatsApp? In fact, on any platform you feel I can actually reach you in. You just blocked me everywhere. Blocked? Ke? I did not block you. Hi. It must have been network. Yes. Oh, okay, listen to this story. The other time, I kept calling my grandmom. I called and called and called and they kept telling me, eh, it's not available, it's, all, it's not available. So I had to go to the village to know what really the problem is. And when I got there, can you imagine? The woman was with the phone. The old woman was with her phone. So it's, I didn't block you. It's network. Those people can be crazy. Well, it's all right. I know it happens at times. So, what do I actually owe this call? Ah, <laughs> you self. Hmm? Can't I get in touch with a friend? <laughs> or aren't we friends? Of course we are. We are friends. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> so, um, um, yes. <laughs> yes, we are friends. We're still friends. I... No, no, no. I think this is better. No, no, no. This is too busy. Mm. Do you know what? I honestly think I need to get two dresses for that. Really? Really? Yes. <laughs> Just in case there's 
one mishap or the other, I have something to fall back on. Hmm? Okay. Yes. But I tell you, you've not seen anything. Are yet. you serious? Of course. <laughs> Wait <laughs> until I get the stuffs for you. <laughs> oh, I'll be oh. so, so, so happy. Oh. <laughs> Okay. You're good? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. So these are my friends. Yes. Uju and Clara, both in the choir in my church. Uju basically um, deals in wares. She imports them from all over the world, especially in London. So she's come here to relieve me of the stress on my wedding day by making sure I look my best. Bringing the best of the best of the wedding dresses. This two. Oh, okay. What do you think? Well, you, you mentioned that um, she brings yeah, she stuff brings, in from yes, from everywhere, from overseas, London, Turkey, you name it. Yeah, but Susan, do you not think that we can find whatever class of wedding dress that you need on her big day oh. here in this country? No, 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 no. You're missing something. She is doing this at no cost at all. Not even. Air fare, nothing at no zero cost, zero. See, um, Mr. Charles, I tell you, you don't compare China wares with UK. You need to see your wife on that day. Mm. She will really look beautiful. Please try and promote my business. Um, well, um, I didn't get your name the first time. Clara, Clara, Clara. Clara. Yeah. Listen, my dear, I see your point. All right, um, and I'm not in. I'm not here to interfere with your business, but I'll have you know that I'm strongly against the dumping of foreign waste in my country. I'm of the opinion, sweetheart, I'm of the opinion that our local designers should be encouraged and their work be promoted properly at all times. I believe that is the way to go. Okay, so my wife and I will um, source for the best of the best here in Nigeria for our big day. Okay? All right, ladies, it's been a very busy day, if you'll allow me. Uh, thank you. Thank you, too. Right. And thanks for stopping by again. All right. Allow me, ladies. Don't tell me we're having tea tonight again for dinner. I'm sorry. I I came back late. I couldn't muscle up anything in the kitchen. This was what I came up with. I'm sorry. Why? Yeah. Amaka, why? Why is it that you don't ever find the time to make something solid in this house for someone to eat? I was about to complete the statement. It's okay. You can just say, Amaka, why don't you know how to cook? It's fine. Oh, well, those are your words, That's not my words. Are you trying to tell me something? Why are you such a fault finder? For me? Fault finder? Yes. I mean, you find fault in every single thing. I, ever since I came to this house, you've been finding one fault from another to another to another. What's wrong? I came back late. I couldn't muscle something up. If, if, of all... Do you know I'm confused? With the traffic and everything, you still want... I'm confused. I don't understand why you're offended. I'm the one who's offended. You're offended? Very offended. Oh, I see. So after all the things I've been through, I will still look at... There's nothing in the house. Or would you prefer not eating anything? You know you're such a lawyer. Oh yeah, you are a lawyer. 
You see, the way you have just laid out your excuses, they look so beautiful. Oh, so my excuses are meaningless? Is no, your, you're your excuses say? mean that we're going to have to starve to death in this house at some point. Come on now. Come on, it's food. You have to make time for food. Really? You know what? It's not a problem. No, it is a problem. No, it's not a problem. It no. is a problem, nah. Charles. It is a problem. No, it's a problem. When we make it an issue. Now it's not a problem because I'm already mixing the tea. I'll drink this tea tonight. Alright? No, let's have tea. What, 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 we can't have tea for dinner? You know? Three nights on the road? Why not? Are you happy? Why are you so inconsiderate? <laughs> I'm the bad guy now, right? See, for dinner. It's fine. She's really nice, baby. Where are you going? I'm going to my house. Come on, Namaka, what is the meaning of this? I want to avoid C finish syndrome. See what? C finish syndrome, Charles. The way you are going. I'm not sure I'll be worth anything to you before the wedding day. Okay, look, if, if it's about what I said last night, it, it's a joke. Okay? Please. Charles, I will operate better from my house. I'm sure that way you and I will have more respect for one another. Amaka, are you actually serious about I this? I am dead serious. I'm actually finding it really difficult to operate from here because most of my personal things are in the house. I see. Your mind is really made up. Yes, it is. You want to go. All right, no problem. If it's what you want, it's okay. Um, call me when you get home. Just like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you know it totally skipped my mind? I'm really, really sorry. You know, I had this very important meeting with a client at the office today. You know, that took, it took the best of me. I got out of that office, got very exhausted. I decided to just rush home and beat traffic. Now, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I, I forgot. I forgot. What? Can we not do this tomorrow, please? I'm, I'm really tired, okay? Can't come out this evening besides the traffic time. I'm, I, can't, I can't do that drive right now. Sweetheart, you can't get me into this stress right now. Please, like, let's not do this, okay? Let's, let's reschedule some other time, okay? We can, we can always have this meeting and sort things out. Amaka, of course, it is stress because I'm tired. I've had a very busy day. Why are we even having this conversation? I mean, if you hadn't left, if you were still here, we won't be having this back and forth right now. Listen, Amaka, you're used to having things done your way, but this time, no. All right? I'm home, tired resting if you guys feel that the meeting is really important you can move it down here i'm home since when did not picking up a call become an issue well yes, well when? we'll see where we are right now if you had just picked up amaka if you had i called you all through yesterday so why do you like to be difficult how am i being difficult why i called you why did you not take the calls are you suggesting? Keep quiet. Are you suggesting? Are you saying that I'm jobless? I have work to do, Amaka. I am way busier than you are, Amaka. Oh so yes, I was calling. Right yeah, I'm serious. I was calling you while taking your calls. I took initiative. I transferred money to my cousin. So there's absolutely no way you would take that initiative without hearing from me. But I did. And so you. I, have to 
No, you cannot take that decision no, by yourself. No, 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 no. It is wrong. No, I am. It is wrong. No. Both of us are in this together and we have to solve it together. Amaka, I have given money. I took initiative and I gave money to my cousin. Your yeah, cousin will have to return that money. No, it doesn't. You will have to return that money. It's not going to happen. You cannot take that initi initiative on your own. Listen, I'm not going to read it all myself. Which is, is you, which is why I was trying to call Which is why I was trying to call you. So you didn't hear from me. It's just, it, just last, last night. My God. So what do you want us to do now? What do you mean? You, what, what do you want me to do? So Nan is here. She'll, she'll be the one in charge of decoration. That's well, all. Well, I already transferred money to my cousin. And then he will give you back your money. No, it doesn't work that way. So you cannot tell me it doesn't work that way. Okay, you know what? You know, uh, uh, Please. Hold, hold on. Listen. I have a solution to this problem. All right? I have transferred money to my cousin. Both of them can jump on it and do it together. How can they decorate your together it's not possible what is so not possible conflict of interest conflict of colors conflict of everything just amaka do you realize that this is my wedding too yes oh, so you know. students are taking the initiative do you realize that i have a say in this matter and i have a say as well do you realize that i'm the man here i'm the and man what, here and what i say is final really yes you have to listen to my own side first ma <laughs> I said, shut up, Susan. Are you sure this wedding is going to hold? Are you going to marry yourself? Are you sure this wedding is Are going to hold? Are you going to marry yourself? We have a situation here and I have profiled a solution. And if you're not going to take Charles, it, that solution suit is yourself. not going to work. Suit yourself. It is not going to work. Suit Charles. yourself. Amaka. Charles. Amaka. Charles. <laughs> Hello, Ben. How are you? Fine. <laughs> I I miss you, and so much. Really? Yes, I do. You know, I was thinking if we could go see a movie together tonight. <laughs> ben, Ben, you've changed. You've changed, though. It is me, <laughs> your joy, your joy, joy, joy. <laughs> it's still me, oh. Um, it, it's okay. Yes, that, that, that's fine. That, that's okay. All right. See you then. Bye. <laughs> ah, he still loves me. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I need to go get what to wear. I need to find something sexy to put on. Hey, to think that I thought I'd lost him. <gasps> hmm. He still loves me. I've got him under here. So sweetheart, yes. this is Bumi. Bumi is a good friend of mine and a choir member as well in my church. Um, she's a good kitra, so I brought her here today so that we'll discuss food for our wedding day. I don't want you bringing those people, you know, your cousins that you said. It's fine, Bumi, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. As long as you can work with the budget we have, uh -uh. right? Well, you see, Amaka has told me how big and wonderful the wedding is going to be. And we're expecting a lot of dignitaries. Yes, we are. So, Bumisha's delicious continental dishes will be there to serve you. Okay. We will give you our best. Continental dishes, local dishes, okay. fried rice, just Chinese, just name it. We are there to give it to you. That's nice. With my gears in their uniform, you need to see the way they will dress that day. Oh, really? So, um, you know, after everything, 
We've come to the budget of 2.5 million naira. Yes. It will be enough for it. For what? What? 2.5 million for, for what? For the catering service. No! This is a wedding. Do you right? Charles. No, sweetheart, no. Listen. Are we cooking for the entire IDP camp? It's a I'm wedding. I'm not going to tell him about commercial, delicious services. <laughs> So you, you see, things are costly in the market. You know about it. Uh, Bumi, Bumi, yes. Bumi. 600,000 is what we want, we'll have to spend, okay? Deal or no deal. Are you taking it? It's okay. Are you sure you'll be able to work with that? Amaka, I will do anything for you. You know, it's your wedding and I have to give you, it's, it's my only little contribution towards it. Of course, Bumi, you have to give your best. I mean, you come highly recommended by my wife, right? And I'm trusting that you do an excellent job. Like you already said, it's a wedding that would have different people from d different walks of life coming. So I'm expecting that you, you come through with continentals, right? Um, you know, we have African cuisines, we have, um, we have people coming from everywhere. So please, exactly. uh, okay. so if I can have those girls that you're, talk you're talking about come through as well, it would be nice. But this time around, can they wear something different? You know, probably a new set of uniform. With 600,000. Well, yeah, you can walk around it. I'm positive. I have some faith. Huh? It's okay, I will try my best. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Sweetheart, uh, you want to see her off? Um, thank you very much again. You're welcome. Uh, for agreeing to do this with us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hello? Bob? I do. Uh, this wedding thing is not easy. I'm telling you. The caterer just left here now. Charging, charging me almost a million for just food. One, one plate of rice and soft drink. I didn't know this thing is that expensive. I would have just left it at traditional. Hey. <laughs> what are you ever encouraging? <laughs> Charles, why do you like to embarrass me like this? Why? What have I done now? What do you mean by what have you done? Why do you give people the impression that our hands are tied? Like we cannot organize this wedding, like we're being forced to do this wedding? I don't understand. You know the money you have given to her is not going to be enough. Oh, You've practically put the girl under pressure. What kind of pressure are you talking about? The girl agrees to work with 600,000. She was complaining all the way when I saw her off. Amaka. We're going to have this wedding. Oh yes, we are going to have it. But we must also be very prudent and realistic with our spending. After this wedding, we'll have a lot more to do with money. And throwing money away is not one of my many talents, please. Don't be sarcastic, Charles. Don't be. You know I'm not extravagant. I'm only trying to avoid us being pennywise pound foolish. It won't happen, okay? Relax. I have this covered. I will personally supervise the catering at the wedding. I, 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 will, I, will, I, will, I will look out for things. You will take care of the catering? Yes, I will take care of it. I, will, I, will, I, will, I have it wrapped around my fingers. I, I, I'll, I'll handle it, all right? I'm tired. Keep stretching and talking about this thing. I'm really tired. Can I can I get some rest, please? Yes, you can. And I'm going to my house. See you later. Do not pressure, do not pressure. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Yeah. Eu coco, eu coco. Ben, what about the marriage proposal? Um, I am ready now. 
If I can remember, I I made that proposal a long time ago, right? Yes, you did, but don't you think that where there is love, time is inconsequential? <laughs> exactly. You know, I've thought about this thing, and I keep asking myself, was there really love or it was just a gold digging? I, I don't understand what you're talking Come about. Come on, Joyce. I don't think you were really in love with me. Were you? Yes, because if you were really in love with me, I mean, your pastor or whoever he was wouldn't have been able to convince you otherwise. Oh, ben. Ben, it is my pastor we're talking about here. I, he was like my spiritual father, baby. You see, Joyce, I really sympathize with you. And because I still honor and respect you as a friend, I'm inviting you to this wonderful location. What? Exactly. So why did you tell me over the phone? Because, because you did not ask. Did you? You are wicked. Very wicked. Come on, Joyce. Listen. Mm -hmm. You are a very beautiful girl. Very beautiful and you have a lot going on for you right now. But the problem is, you seem to have not made up your mind as regards what you really want. Now I will advise you. Go back and think about what you really want. And go for it. Keep your stupid advice to yourself. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. Oh, 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 oh,
you, I told you, any woman her age and not married yet has a baggage. Right. Yeah, so just count that as her baggage. That's my advice. You know, I hate to say that you're right, but you're actually right. Hmm. But you know when she's not fighting and arguing and being stubborn, she's, she's actually a very sweet woman, you know, she's, yeah. she's just, I wish she can just... Oh. Ah, that's nice. You know what, Charlie? What? You've made a very good choice. Please stick to it. Yes. The only problem here is that you guys do not have the time for courtship. True. Yeah, if you had had courtship, you would have, I mean, discovered all this. But then, it's also very good that you didn't. Oh, yes. Knowing you, you would have aborted this relationship before now. Right. Oh, yeah. I got your drink. So it's all good. Yeah. yeah you can't get everything you need in one woman. Never. Why? Yeah, so you make the best use of what you've got. Mm hmm. Bob. Yeah. How come you're this knowledgeable about marriage? I mean, where did you gather all of this experience and philosophies that you're teaching out? Excuse me. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Like, how do you know this thing? <laughs> come on, come on, shut up, man. So you think because I am not married. I do not know anything about women. How did, how did I take this decision not to marry? How, how? Oh, you tell us. Yeah, it was out of experience. I said, no, no way for me. And besides, I don't want to go through what you are going through right now. What yes. am I going through? Oh, the stress, the stress. And she can argue. I don't have time for that. Go home yeah, that's it. I'll see you some other time. <laughs> Ah, yeah. yeah. I am not lonely. All I am not lonely. I got my big cars. I got my big house. I got my everything big, 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 big. Okay, so and big money, you know. <laughs> I am. I am cool the way I am, man. I am cool the way I am. I am not lonely. <laughs> I got my big house, big cars, big money. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know why you have refused to understand this matter, Joy. Understand what exactly, Pastor Abbey? So, I am now Pastor Abbey. No longer daddy. Ah, Biko, I'm not daddying anything again. I am not happy. We were dating before you got married. Why didn't you marry me? Why? <laughs> I, 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 I'm not good enough for you, right? Come on, Joy. Don't talk like that. You and I know why we couldn't get married. I do not know anything. The only thing I know is that you want to have me all to yourself. You want me to keep warming your bed. Yes. Jesus. The same reasons you frustrated all my plans to getting married. Oh, Joy, why would you say such a scandalous thing about your man of God? A servant of the Most High God. <laughs> Have you forgotten the Bible saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm? <laughs> servant of God indeed. <laughs> my, my God. Hey, don't push me. Pastor Abby, don't push me. Because if I open this my mouth, if I open my mouth and begin to talk, this church will close down overnight. <laughs> you will not dare. 
You will not. I will destroy you even before you start. Hmm. You cannot threaten me anymore. I know every, every. <laughs> I know every, every. Now our church now. <laughs> now we now be here. be careful about what you say. Else the fire of God will descend on you. Pastor Abby, you're still calling fire of God, eh? You see all this, your shenanigans. You cannot intimidate me with them again. I am leaving this church and for good. If you take a step out of this church, Joy, consider yourself gone. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I really had mad fun. I don't know about you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I had fun. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for coming. This is Ashley. It's Kimberly. Leave it now. I'll explain to you. Uh -uh. Three weeks. You still have three weeks uh, to make really? your dress. Yes. Like you don't know our tailors. Let me tell you a story. Mm -hmm. Do you know my, my cousin now? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She went to pick up her clothes from the tailor. Only for her to be arrested by the police. Why? Arrested? Yes. Why? Huh. They said um, the tailor's point one madam's clothes. And she sent the police to arrest everybody. Yes. yes. Only for them to get there, the tailor was nowhere to be found. Oh, honestly. He escaped and the police arrested everybody. Hmm. These tailors will not make heaven. No. Easy, oh. My At mother all. is a tailor. Oh, sorry, ma. <laughs> Your mother will make heaven. Of course, sorry. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you so much for coming. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So much for coming eh? I don't want to look at you on that day. Of course, you must be in front. That thing. Before we enter the door, that thing. What exactly do you want, Joy? If you know how you scattered my marriage plans, I want you to do the same to Amakas. I cannot be left behind. <laughs> Joy, you will not cease to amaze me. Of course, you know that what you're asking for is impossible. Leave Amaka out of this. Allow her be. Amaka has been too good to you. She accommodated you for three whole years. Something a fellow man wouldn't do for you. You deliver her out of this. You should be grateful, not spiteful. An ungrateful heart is a sinful heart before God. Ingratitude deters your progress. Only grateful hearts are progressive hearts. Have I not been grateful to you? Have I not? All these years you have taken advantage of me. I did not complain even for one day. Oh, would you just shut up? I don't even know what you're talking about. What is wrong with you? What haven't I done for you? Or have you suddenly forgotten how you came to this church? How you were introduced? Have you forgotten how you came from the gutters? I took you up and cleaned you up. I paid your way through school. I got a job for you without any stress. And here you are, seated in front of me and threatening me. Not just me, but my ministry. What is wrong with you? Okay. All doing well. Yes. We'll have the drinks covered, food. All drinks. Water, yeah. Speaking of the hall, that guy gave us a huge discount. Did I tell you? Yes, you did. <laughs> the souvenirs are ready, right? Mm hmm. You said um, so. MC sorted, um, photo shoot done, um, pretty much almost everything. Yes, done. And in less than three weeks, we're virtually done with all of this yep everything yes you know the the, the 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 cooling van people promised to give us an extra cooling van did i tell you okay mm -hmm. okay great so yeah that's it in three weeks everything is over yeah, weeks, baby. so we had come back down come back to the house come back where here now
No. Please. No. I miss you. I miss you too, but no. Please. I cannot come back. We're doing so well apart. It is the standard and tradition that intending couples will be far away from one another until they get married and they can be under one roof. Okay? So that see finish syndrome will not enter the matter. So that people will be what, you know? So this tradition is tradition by Amaka. See, me, I'm used to your tantrums and your bad mouth. So anything you say now is going to be like this. I miss you. I miss you too. Come but back. I stay at home. No. Come back home. Just three more weeks. Please. It's the standard and the tradition. Three weeks is far. So that we'll be fresh. We are mm. not fresh now. We are not. Please if now. I say I won't be fresh, you see finish, you enter. You will not enter, I promise you. I'll be a good boy. It's the tradition. We must respect tradition. No. <laughs> we must respect tradition. I have been, I can't ask me, I have been, Jesus is my father, he will never ever be me. My invitation, VIP, look at my invitation card. Eh? Do you know what? I am going to sit in I didn't know that. I was a VIP until today. <coughs> uh, uh, Sister Joy, please, you will do me a favor. If you are going to be among the people that we share food and drink, don't forget me. Remember me. Eh? My brand of drink is champagne. Uh, 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 Sister Joy, uh, uh, not so fast now. Uh, I know you don't like me, uh, uh, but me, I like you. Uh, and that is why I'm praying for you. That Heavenly Father, in fact, start shouting a big amen. Heavenly Father, I call upon you today. Every devil. Every demon that is causing, uh, that is stopping us from getting a future husband, uh, die by fire, die by Holy Ghost thunder, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost lightning. In fact, die by fire. Start shouting them, my way, because God is going to answer your prayer today. Hey, I call heavenly fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost thunder, Holy Ghost lightning to stop every demon, every evil that was. Where is she? Is she a ghost? I talk him. This girl is no be ordinary. I talk him. Huh? Anyway, I have my invitation. Mm. That day, I'll be at the front seat. <laughs> Columbus, VIP. Hey, oh me. <laughs> I'm not only VIP by driving the plane. I'm a VIP sitting in front of the seat at Amaka's wedding. How <laughs> that Diego? <laughs> Good, thank you. Oh, God, I'm God. What am I going to do now? I think I remember. I told him to spray the pin. Hello? And 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 who's what who what what Anne? Sir, I used to be a street girl. I met you three years ago, and you said I'm too smart to be on the streets. And you gave me some money to buy jam from and all that things, sir. Do you remember, sir? I remember you. How are you? S 
sir, I took your advice and today I'm now in the university, sir. Impressive. Okay, so um, what, are you, what are you exactly? What, what's going on with you? What, what's happening? Why are you calling me at this time? It's really late. I'm sorry, sir. Actually, I just came into the town. I'm so stranded. I came to look for my uncle, but I can't find him. And there is no money with me. Then I just remember that you stay up the same street with him. You're stranded. Uh, oh, and it's late. Um, you know what? Uh... You know what? Come. Well, uh, uh, you, you can come to mine. It's fine. You know, just just come, 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 come. We'll see what we can do. All right. Uh, when you get to my gate, um, let me know. I'll open up for you. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Come in. Thank you. Please, this way. Uh, ah, it's fine. How have you been? Fine, sir. That's good. I hear that um, you're now in school. Yes, sir. That's good. I got admission to the State University. Impressive. I'm studying business administration. Nice. But it has not been easy for me at all. Right, I know. It's usually not easy, but I tell you this. Once you're done with school, You'll be glad that you took that decision, eh? Thank you. I'm really seeing the changes in my life. Keep at it. Keep at it. You know, you know, once in a while you can call me if you need something. I'll help. Okay, I'll keep helping until you're done with school, get a good job. All right, I'll help. Thank you, sir. I so much appreciate it. It's fine. You need motivation. Yes. Mm? Oh. Wow. I can see you're still alone as usual. Well, I'm alone for tonight, but um. My world isn't that um, empty anymore. I, I'm hooked. <laughs> you know, I'm getting married in less than 12 days. Yes, the white wedding. Wow, it's almost here. Yes, I met someone really special. I'm happy for you and she must be lucky to have you. Well, I am lucky to have her too. You know, I'm getting married to the most intelligent, mature and committed lawyer. I, I'm really excited about her. Hmm. All oh, this quality is just one person. Right. Don't be jealous. By the time you're done with school, I'm sure that some, some guy would be lucky to have you, too. Huh? <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you, sir. Well, you don't look like a student to me. You look really good. You know, in our days of school, we're looking very funny, looking dry and all. But look at you, putting on flesh in the right places. I've been looking at you since you stopped it. Wow, thank you. <laughs> stand up, stand up. Let me, let me, let me hello. Uh, this way. Uh, Oh, this way, this way, this way. You don't look bad, huh? Why do you people get all these clothes that you buy these days? See, you're also putting on flesh in the right places. What? Okay, that's it. Ah, whoa, 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 Um, hello? Yeah, babe, um, you okay? You what? You, you are at my, at my gate? At, at the gate? Oh my goodness. Um, no, 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 no. Everything is fine. I'm, I'm okay. Um, uh, uh, the, the, the gate is under lock and key. I, I'll, 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 I'll come get you right away. I've... No, 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 I'm fine. You know, I was, um, <clears throat> you know, I was in the middle of something when you called. I'll, I'll, I'll be with you. Okay, babe. Yeah. All right. Ah! Oh. Oh, behind, 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 behind. Please, just keep quiet, okay? Just okay, stop sir. Please, please, please don't, don't mess things up for me, please. I okay, beg. sir.
No, I wasn't expecting that time. My MD yes. said that he needs me to go to Portacot okay. tomorrow okay. to represent him in a, at a meeting okay. so that he can be there. Okay. So that's why I came. Oh, okay. But, 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 but does he not know that we're in the middle of our wedding preparations? He does. It's just that he's not in the country and he has said to me that no one else can represent him better than I would considering the fact that there will be legal issues there. So that's why I came. Okay. Huh. Are you okay? I'm, I'm okay. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just worried. I know you, you, you're going to leave me here and, and, and run off to Potakot. It's just for one day. I stay here tonight. You take me to the airport tomorrow, I come back next day, that's it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Why are you so unsettled? Why are you? I have cramps. I... I... Cramps? Yeah. No, no, no. Just... Uh... What's that? What? Whose phone rang? Phone? Did the phone ring? Trusted that Charles. Never! Not even for one day. Hey! Hmm. He was too good to be true. Hmm. You see, eh? I kept asking myself, why is this young, fine, rich man not married up until now? This is the answer. A bloody womanizer. A womanizer. Hey! Hey! Imagine. Karen runs girls all over the place in less than two weeks to his marriage. Who does that? Hey! I can bet my life that he's been sleeping with those girls without condom. <laughs> You're lucky. You don't know what God did for you. It's your come. Womanizer. Now let me give you the shock of your life. <laughs> this one heavy for my mouth though, but I have to say it. Let me give you the shock of your life. Do you know that Charles came after me? I'm telling you the truth. I kept saying no, no, no. At some point he wanted to take me by force and I pushed him away. He did everything humanly possible to sleep with me. Me, sleep with Charles. My own person's boyfriend, God forbid. I don't want to tell you all this why, because I am not a killjoy, you know? I didn't want to spoil your day. But as it is now, the wedding is no longer holding, so I have to say it out. The wedding is no longer holding. That's the reason I'm saying this, so if not, I would have just zipped my lips. Hey, Charles, Charles! You're lucky. Who knows? That guy is a walking pack of disease. Hey! You don't know what God did for you. You would have experienced the worst heartbreak ever. Hey! Thank God. Thank God the wedding is no longer holding. At least you, you can start up with someone else. Stop crying. Charles! Charles! Hey! I kept saying no, 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 no. I reply. Imagine, Charles, how can you insult your new bride with such dirty girls, desecrating her bed before she enters? Charles, how can you be so reckless? Eh, Charles, 
It was just the devil. I'm I'm sorry. Hey. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. This is not ordinary. It's not ordinary. Just tell me. What do I tell my family people? My friends. My church members. Hey. Even my parish priest. Just tell me what will I tell them? Eh? That the wedding has been cancelled? No, no. Listen, Mama, this, this, this is a good. This is someone I helped from the past. I didn't do anything with her. I didn't. I didn't Come on! She was. What you gonna walk him? In the heaven, I go early. Eh? Can you not see the silver? Omoa. In the pudala. Eh? What is it? Get out! Yes, my daughter is stubborn. I know, but in this, she is hundred percent right. How could you, Charles? How could you? Please, let's find a way. Okay, let's let's find a way to solve this. I mean, if if for nothing else, I mean, we we have well wishes, we have friends, you know, you know, looking to attend this wedding. Please. Please, let, let's find a solution. I'm positive that we can resolve this. Please, uh, help me talk to my wife. Talk to who? Amaka. <coughs> You're out of your sense. You're out of your mind. I can't even reach her. Talk less of talking to her. So, what do you want me to do? I can't do anything. And that is why I'm here. To warn you, if anything happens to my daughter, if anything happens to my daughter, oh, Charles, you will see the bad side of me. I will not take it lightly with you. I'm done with you. Do not pressure, don't pressure me. 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 Wow, 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 wow. This is this is like incredible. Uh, do you have any idea where she is now? No, I don't. I haven't. I haven't been able to speak to her for a long time. Her phones have been have been off for four days. I have tried looking for her at her mother's place. She's, she's she hasn't been there. And for for every time I have tried going to her place, the the, the gate man wards me off at the entrance and says that there's a strict instruction not to allow me entrance. What do I do? <laughs> Some people are destined not to get married in this lifetime. Oh, yes. Charlie, you are one of us. You are one of us. Oh. But how can you say that to me at a time like this? I didn't do anything with that girl. I have told you before, I had, I didn't have it in mind. Look, she called me up that she was stranded and then, you know, it was five minutes and she really needed, this is someone I had helped before in the past. She just called me out of the blues and wanted help. I, I, I didn't, I, I, you know, it was a last minute sort of thing that she was stranded. I mean, what would you have me do? I just told her to come over to the house and pass, I wasn't going to do anything with her. I mean, she's in. We are saying the same thing. No, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. How can you tell my mother to be married? Okay, since you turned out to be a Father Christmas, helping any, any stranded girl here and there, okay, why not? No, but take that back. That was quite hurtful. Take it back. Well, I'll prove it to you. No, since I, I, no I have called. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Charles. You, you, you came to me, okay? Just listen. Since you decided to be a Father Christmas to help out any stranded girl everywhere, why didn't you send her money to go stay in a hotel? Why your house? Well, I, 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 I didn't think of that option at the time. Uh, I mean, I, I uh, was. Uh, I, I had to think on my feet and ah. I just told her to come over to her. That is the proof that you are destined to be somewhere. That's what I'm trying to let you see. Listen, I've not come here for you to ridicule me. I've come here for you to put her together with me so we can remedy this situation. There is no remedy to this situation. Join our club. No wedding. No marriage. You know they say that a friend in need is a friend indeed. Sure, that's me. What? 
I have your friend in need and a friend indeed. Join my club. No marriage. Bob, stop calling my phone. You're not my friend. You're not done. Li sit down, Charles. Listen. To Charles, I, I, I tell you, you come back to confess. I'm telling you the truth. Leave it alone. Well, I am cool the way I am. No marriage, no stress. Yes, I can't go through this stress. Come on, yeah, um, uh, what's, what's his name again? Just like Tangerino, when you taste it, do we feel the fat inside? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ima pana love. Ima pana oji kwa muna love. Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Daddy. I'm. I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. I'm tired of this life. Sometimes I wish I. I could just end it or take my life, but I think of everyone and then... Come on, my daughter. Don't talk like that. You are a Christian. You are a child of God. The Bible is cleansed. Though weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's the word of God. <sighs> Listen, my dear. I want you to come over to the church so that we can sit and talk. The devil is a liar. I can't. I'm too, I'm too down. I don't even want to come outside. I'm too depressed. I want to stay in my house. Listen, my daughter. You are a child of God. The Lord is your strength. Right now, I invoke the power of God into your life. Let him strengthen. Come over to the church, let us discuss, and I am sure we'll find a solution to this. Come. Come right now. Hmm, pathetic. That's the difference between we anointed men of God and those carnal men out there. I sensed it. I sensed something was going to go wrong. Of course, something will always go wrong with men who do not believe in Christ Jesus, those who are not born again. Listen, the book of Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12 says that there's a way that cement right unto a man but the end thereof is the way of death. What am I going to tell my family, my friends, my co-workers, my MT? What will I tell all of them? Maka, this is not the time to cry. You can it's too late to cry when the head is off. The deed is already done. What are you going to do? I don't know. Will you forgive him? God forbid. I don't even want to see him near me. I don't ever want to talk to him. I don't want him to call me. I, I'm not going to... I just don't... Oh. Let me out! Who's I want to go! Please help me! Who's Let that? me out of here! Quiet! Quiet there! Quiet there! <sighs> See, see, I cannot take it again. I cannot take it again. I want to go. Auntie, Auntie, please help me. I want to go. He has been using me as his sex slave. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The spirit of Delilah. Leave this place in the name of Jesus. You have no part here. Go out of this place now. In the name of Jesus. See who is binding Satan. Like seriously, Oga, you they buy Satan. Eh? Devil they buy Satan for your village. See, 
Me, I don't want the game. I want to go. You kept me here for over a week now. Promising me heaven and earth. Yet no show. See, Oga, I don't want to again. I beg. I won't go. I want to go. Auntie, please help me. Oh. This weekend now, he wants to kill me. Yeah. Who is she? Who is she? She's mentally deranged. She's one of those people who are uh, they brought here for prayers and deliverance. Deliverance kill you there. You're a very wicked man. It is your entire generation that has that have met that problem. See, Auntie, eh? I'll tell you the truth. The truth, I will not lie to you. The truth is that I'm a wrong girl. Correct, Ashawo. Nayabi, this your wicked pastor brought me here for over a week now. He has been promising me that eh, after the end of the moon tide collection, that he will take me to Dubai and buy me this and buy me that. Yet, I never see anything. There is no single day that he will not climb me up to two times. This man, you see, Auntie, me, I'm tired. I want to go. He doesn't give me any money. Yes. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, you agent of the devil. Look at you. Who do you think you are? This is your smelly body. All your mates are in the university reading. You're here telling you are a prostitute. Leave this place with your smelly body. Oh. You should have said this money you want. Oh. Ha. You call my body smelly body now, Abby? Hey! It is now a smelly body. But when you were climbing me morning and night, it was a sugar body. I'm here, you are a very, very wicked man. God will punish you. you see me, I'm tired though. I wanted to go, but he said, eh. That if I go, that he will use Indian to draw on me eh? Eh, and make me mad. So I was scared. But right now, see, me, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not scared again. I want to go. See, it's better I'm mad oh, and be free. You shut up. Yeah, we are get out of this place. You should have said this money you wanted. Mm. Take this money and get out of this place. Yes, so I'll Leave here. Go to punish you. See, see, let me tell you. If this money is not complete, I'll come back for you. Rabaseke, the Monday. Rabasa. Useless people. It's just um, it's deliverance. For those people they brought. Don't come here again in the name of Jesus. I they come here. But, see, Maka, it's just one of those things we encounter as men of God. It's not. Uh, Amaka, some of these cases when they don't, I bind every spirit, it's just Has been so withdrawn. Um, as it is, she may end up killing herself. Yes. By the way, what transpired between both of you? What has happened is that this whole thing is is over. Uh, really? You know, when I met your friend, I thought that. That the search for a spouse was over, but the devil played a fast one on me and your friend, and we fell for it. I knew it. I I, I knew it. I I knew there was something wrong. I Amaka complained just about everything you said and did. Yes. At some point, I had to tell her as a friend that this attitude of yours was wrong. I told her myself. Who carries on like that? <sighs> Amaka, it is like she just invited the devil by her own hands. <sighs> Amaka will never stop being stubborn, stiff and proud. I told her as a friend. I, I, I told her I warned her about this. So... Ah, so the wedding will not hold, right? Hi, you're so caring, so loving. Amaka, 
you know, like they say, you never know what you have until you lose it. If I had a man like you, eh, I will not show him more. I will love him, I will love and respect him. I wish I had a man like you. Checking on your tailor for your dress. The wedding is in one week. Uh, 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 yes, yes, yes. I, I am. Mister <laughs> Tube.
of love Just like Dandereen When you tested to a few Defense inside Just like Dandereen When you tested to a few Defense inside Give up on the Ojibwa Munalalo When I watch you come on, I love you. Ma fusi konufa.